just made up some shit, and he was like, "It's Baba Yaga." Oh, no. uh, Baba Yaga. Yaga. Discourse. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we are. Dude, yeah, he was not happy. He tried his best, and that's all we can ask for. But he did stick to his word and buzzed in at every question, though, and I respect that. I mean, someone and... will get to go twice, right? Because of how discourse has fallen. Yeah, what yeah. I'll do is I'll see whoever scores lowest, I'll give a chance to. Uh, oh, no, oh, that's good one. I'm going again. Let's go. <laughs> Are you going to have another no. go and actually be sensible this time? I won't no, be sensible, no, but I think I'll give myself a better even chance. Lower. No, 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 no. I was, I had so many near misses on that last mm. one that I think I can come out with a respectable yeah, dude, score like, with the same instead strategy. Of, instead of blink dog, you said phase yeah. dog. Phase dog, Aww, dead yeah. three, big three. Yeah. So you I was wrong. Some, like, real close. And the, the dude, the yeah. Baba Yaga yeah. one was... Ooh. Watching yeah. the funniest yeah. thing was that you were like, answer. well, the only two, like, f European folklore I know is Baba Yaga and Gretel, and it's probably neither of them. <laughs> it was Baba you were Yaga, like, dude. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe Baba Yaga is a thing in D&D yeah, lore. Sure like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of the really old D&D lore is, made, is based on, like, European mythology. <clears throat> Alrighty. Ladies and gents. It's fun. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Dungeon Select. Our last session before a holiday break. No. Um, no more Vincent. Good. No. Wow, no. that's rude. Good riddance, dude. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna miss the homie. Uh, it was a blast having him on for the last, uh, like, I don't know, like, almost two months, I feel like, right? It's been a, a oh, handful yeah. of sessions. Mm -hmm. um, and um, no Soko today because of work stuff. So, unfortunately, Soko had to sit this one out. Good riddance. Duke, thanks for the four months, dude. You know, literally paying yourself, my man. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen um, the check yet. But, yeah, we're here for the last session of uh, of, the, of the year, pretty much. Uh, before we get oh, into nice rhyme. anything, does anyone have any announcements? I don't believe so. I no. speed ran Hotline Miami 1 and 2 in <laughs> nice. 5 hours and 56 minutes. Where's that put you on the world rankings? Hang on. <laughs> A millionth? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, you did your uh, your 10 game challenge. You did it. Proud yeah. of you. Good job. Got that done and dusted. My boy, my boy. Um, I'm a, I'm a little tired. So like, if I'm out of it or something, I, I did a fucking massive stream yesterday, and I'm, I'm fucking knackered, dude. I'm, I'm if massive. you need to make it a shorter session, Dutch, like if we get to a point you feel like it's good to wrap up, say it like three hours, and you're really exhausted, I don't think we'll hold it against you. Ah, uh, we'll see. We'll see. I will, um, I will forever. Like today's <laughs> yeah. session is mainly in your control anyway, because it's kind of one of those like, oh, we just completed the story arc. Let's just kind of wind down and figure our fucking shit out. Um, That's what you think. So I don't, ex <laughs> I don't expect to really have to do too much, but um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, other than that, I don't really have any announcements. Yeah, I mean, obviously, over the winter break, there's going to be content. I know Koiba's running a one shot, Laura's running a one shot, um, Bell is doing a bunch of stuff for the YouTube channel. We're going to probably, you know, if scheduling allows it, squeeze in a divinity or two here and there uh, on the Mondays, depending if we can all get together and it works out. Um, uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Discourse. We'll do a discourse this week, and then there probably won't be a discourse until next time you play Dungeon Slack proper. So that show is on, on hold as well with the holidays. Um, but yeah, I think that's it, pretty much. Wait, so we're not going to do a discourse on Thursday? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, obviously, like, oh, this will be last. Awesome. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. We're doing a discourse on Thursday, and then uh, no more discourse Got until it. we pick up the campaign again. Um, and we're done. But yeah. Forever. I think uh, last we left off, y'all had, um, you know, some time, spent some time at uh, the Chubby Dwarf kind of thinking about uh, the adventure you've had. You you've, you found the Tear of Kasuth, and Davian also, together with Brooks, uh, connected the two tears that he has and had a vision in which Brooks kind of got dragged in as well due to the, just the sheer intensity of, of the magic involved. Um, and have somewhat of a destination if the plan is to go pursue this final tier of Kosuth. You know that um, the final tier rests inside an a, 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 a volcano at the bottom of Lake Udina, which is the lake to the north of Keldar that kind of 
acts as a natural border between the province on the other side of the lake. And you also know that um, this lake is inhabited slash guarded by followers of Istisha, which is the uh, elemental lord of water. And there's a bunch of triton, among other things, that live there and, 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 and inhabit slash protect this, uh, this lake. So I think, you know, uh, I think Davian intended on, on doing some research, finding out uh, about these uh, about these Triton that live there, learning a little bit more about Triton in general, but also uh, finding a little, out, little bit more out about uh, this Lord of Water, among other things. Did you say his name is I Is Tisha? Or is Tisha. Is Tisha. Is Tisha. Okay. Yeah. I can write it in the. It's okay. Tisha. I probably spelled it wrong, but whatever. I S T I S H I A. Oh, I forgot one I. Darn it! I was so close. <laughs> Dude, I've been spelling streets wrong this whole time, and I'm okay with it. <laughs> I've been How spelling it like, like stratum, I, I was, but street, so... Oh, like I was this. so nervous to spell it wrong in the fucking Dude, titles. Look how much of this like... notebook I've already used. Like, yeah, look, I'm almost is, halfway uh, through this notebook, dude. S-T-R-E-A-T-H-A-M. Yeah, yeah mine yes. makes more sense. From street British. home. Street, yeah. street home. Um, street home. Other than that, um, there was a bit of a thing between uh, Kess and Jax regarding the dragon egg. Jax has pretty much gotten a day to do what he needs to do with the egg mm -hmm. before either Kess or um, Blue fucking destroys it, really. Yeah. Or both. <laughs> or both. <laughs> um, and with that... We'll say that, because we kind of did things out of order last time, because it was time mm -hmm. to say goodbye to Vincent as a, as a guest player. Um, mm -hmm. So it is still the afternoon, uh, or the, the morning, I mean. Of, morning. Of, you know, you slept, you woke up, you know, you leveled mm -hmm. up and all that shit. Um, and I'm just going to go around and ask everybody what they want to do with their day. I'll start with uh, Lazarin. I mean, Lazarin doesn't have much he wants to do at all. Um, if anybody, basically, very much, if anybody asks him for any help with anything, he will <laughs> tag along. Um, and obviously, like, mainly he'll be just wanting to get back to Aldalon. So he's just going to mm -hmm. be waiting and seeing if yep. it's going to be a trip to uh, start the trip back today, or uh, we're going to be spending a day in extra here. So I'm, I'm a free agent, as it were, of whoever wants to tag along. Okay. I know that uh, Jax had asked Daigon to uh, tag along with him and help him out. And with, I was going uh, his, to even uh, if he didn't ask anyway, because I'm curious and want to learn to make things. There you go. Uh, Davian, what are you doing? I'm going to see if there's a nice library or bookshop in this industrial town, and I guess I'll drag Laszlo along with me. <laughs> Who's that? Laszlo. Also, um, Onu is. Onu is what? Sorry. A bird again. Nice. From hey. Dog Alrighty. Yay. Um, um, bird game. You go around the town and kind of come to the the realization that there's not really anything along the sorts of a library or a bookshop really that uh, in this city, due to it being very industrial and all the shops that are there are either your basic necessities or very much in, in line with uh, well the there was band. a magic shop but you know that burned down obviously um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you did that. No, no bookstores libraries like that uh, exist within the city unfortunately are there any These people are illiterate like is it the, is it the sort of city that like it's it has a wall and then outside the wall it sort of spills into little like houses and homesteads for people who work in the factories and stuff or is it just no this is all uh, this is all just like like it all exists within the walls there's no like yeah. due to the size of the town it's it's not big at all so yeah, it's pretty much divided into three districts there is like the, the shopping slash tavern slash like that area of town there is a residential area and then there is like over half the town is just like factory district and and and, and uh, crafting district and all that. Uh, the o magic shop was really the only thing that that had any magical relation at all. Pretty much, yeah. Can go sift through some wreckage. 
Gonna go through the ash. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It feels a little Chernobyl-esque. I don't know what sort of weird <laughs> artifacts are going to be seeping the nastiness all over that thing. You'll touch something you shouldn't touch just because it was covered in ash and you couldn't see it, and you'll be like, "Fuck!" Get transported to the abyss. Yeah. <laughs> you know who knows? Grow a third um, or a third leg, fourth leg, oh, fourth Ooh. leg. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm. Well, I'll probably go outside the walls then and just try find some fresh air. I don't know mm -hmm. if. Elazarum would come with, but uh, no I would... in the book department. Uh, I mean, I'll see if you want me. If you start going out, it would be a case of um, if you want to. Learn yeah, I mean, we'd search, we'd search, time. we'd search around, not find anything, yeah. and then I just guess I just you know, well, um, looks like there's uh, not many readers here. I don't know if you want to take a stroll outside the town, but I mean, up to you. I'll happily go for a nice stroll. Be nice to <sighs> take in some fresh air. Yeah, I'm sure and the water's a bit there, clearer. Like these plumes of smoke river. coming out of the yeah. for the factories and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so far away from that. <laughs> yeah, pro probably. I don't know. Yeah, just go for a stroll mm -hmm. up river, where the water's a little mm -hmm. clearer, and uh, you know, hopefully the air is a little thinner. <laughs> um, yeah, so wouldn't go far. Probably like an hour out and an hour back or something like yeah. that. Mile or two out. Yeah. Anything you wish to discuss with the Lazarin while you're doing that, or? Oh, actually, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. <clears throat> As we sort of, like, just kind of stroll along the riverbank and Onu flut <laughs> flutters up, up above, fucking, I don't know, 100 feet up, just having a, having a vibe. So um, I put the two tiers together and Kosuth, uh, you know, made himself apparent. Um, and Brooks was there. And he, I think he might have seen the whole thing. No, yeah, was he uh, near you at the time? Or yeah, we were on the roof of yeah. the pub. Fair enough. I don't know how drunk. He, he seemed, you know, pretty drunk, but I don't think he just. I mean, for he Brooks, that's very his... drunk to forget that sort of thing. I mean, for Brooks, that's probably just a normal day. <laughs> well, you know, to his credit, I feel like he's been mostly sober no, he has. lately. I know. Just like giving him jip. Although he still managed to get kicks out of the pub while sober. So. <laughs> I mean, he, what can I say? He's a very charming man to the wrong people. Yeah. I don't think uh, the old chubby dwarf is too taken with him. <laughs> I don't even remember what he said. Oh, no. Yeah, no. That, yeah. He was telling her how to do her job. Yeah. yeah. That, just the second those words left his mouth about how, oh, I, I've done your job for years or whatever he said. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, that spelled the end. But yeah, um, <laughs> Kosuth appeared. So you, you know, we've got to go to this lake, as you know. Yes. And, you know. Well, I mean, if anyone had any doubts, <laughs> at least we all, well, at least Brooks can corroborate and let you all know, hey, there is a fireman and he, uh, <laughs> he's all right. I'm a little worried, though. I, I really don't know what's going to become of these Triton, whether they're going to be friendly, and if they are going to be friendly, what we're going to do, because it's not really our business to take what's not really ours either. Oh, I guess it's not theirs, but also, they, I'm sure they didn't take it. The water person did. We we'll have to see. I mean, I think that's the life we now sort of lead, is this moral ambiguity. And Amb I can't say that word. Ambiguity. Oh, fuck Ambiguity. It. Ambiguity. Thank you. Um, I don't know how you how, how one might uh yeah. how you bring diplomacy to fish people. I mean, do I know about tritons and as like the, are they pretty rare or is it like there's some about um, and like they they are known yeah, to be where there's pretty water, normal. Be triton, make a, or? Make a like, history pretty, check. Like pretty normal. Baby people. dragons. Yeah. History. Uh, 16. Remind me, uh, you're from mm. the kingdoms, correct? I am from the kingdoms, indeed. Uh, you're aware of uh, the kingdoms uh, before the Sundering. Um, there were four, mm. one of which got completely obliterated and is now known as the Sunken Kingdom, uh, inhabited by uh, Triton. Mm -hmm. uh, Triton live in the ruins of those kingdoms and those castles uh, underwater. Um... You know that Triton are 
just as much people as any race uh, yeah, they, sure, they have their own customs yeah. and their own way uh, of doing things but very much are just mm -hmm. a, 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 a type of people with their own culture yeah, not like a own... yeah it must be pretty convenient to just have a fucking yeah. kingdom i mean fall through what is essentially your sky and yeah. then land and you can just yeah. live in it you know i mean the sunken kingdom from the uh things where i'm from uh triton seem to be at least they're amicable they you know as much as well yeah, I'm, yeah. But there's so, you know there's i mean yes there's different walks of life people right maybe they're not yes. good people <laughs> I think they'll at least be understanding <clears throat> to to a point. I think obviously if we go there marching on in be like give us the tear and you know, I think they'll be a bit more um hostile. But I think if we at least attempt diplomacy, they'll be Yeah, but I don't want to show up and be all nice and make friends and then after oh, you know. No, there's making friends and there's going in not hostile. Yeah. We can so. still it's assert one, you ourselves. Know, you go in and you're like, okay, well, we won't make any friends, but, you know, you're walking down mm. the underwater market or whatever. And you yes, see you don't want to start seeing, you know. The family. Yeah. The, you know, yeah, it's, yeah. it's just. Well, we don't know. Let's say we don't know. I think until we do some research about this area, about going to going to, we don't know. I splish splash of little Triton feet running around the market. I don't think um, it is worth sort of speculating at this point until we know further, because I think it would be a. A lot harder to make a decision. We've got to figure we... out how to uh, breathe underwater first before we. Uh... There are, there are ways. But See, with the whole you I know, I necklace know or or tears repelling water, I might be able to just <laughs> hold that in front of my face and have some air to breathe. But or that will destroy the air in front of you and you choke yourself to death. One, two. Well, I wouldn't die. Yeah, I'd test it out first. True. Try in the bath or something. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> but no, I think until we uh, see what's going on, we're not going to really know. Did uh, anything else happen when you put the tears together, or was it just another vision? Do you feel yourself? Well, I guess it was more than a vision. If Brooks. Oh, I mean, Part visions talk. are powerful. <laughs> True. Then the being transported to some sort of plane then of existence. I don't know. It was sort of like. A, like a window, kind hmm. of, I guess. Do you feel... We were still know. on the roof of the tavern, but... Do, do you feel there's any power from these at all that they can be used? Or you feel like, you know, you're now smarter for having them or something? Or is it just... Mm, I don't... Objects. And not until you get all of them that anything happens. I asked about that, and he... Karsuth basically assured me that until I have all three, <laughs> nothing much is going to change. I don't know if that's worrying or... Well, it's a bit shit. It'd be cool to be able to <laughs> cast fireballs or something already, but... That's a you know. powerful magic. <clears throat> yeah. I, I, maybe I was expecting to feel something a bit more already. I've, you know... Been doing this for a little while now, and... Mm. Although I feel like I've gotten better at what I do, I don't really think it's, it's attached to the tears at all. Yeah, I found myself being a bit more accomplished in my abilities, a bit more. Something in your front there? Or... <laughs> yeah, yes, there was. <clears throat> your voice sounds better else. today. Oh, at least. yes, a, a good, well rest and a nice cup of tea does wonders. Mm. Well, one last thing that I'm worried about is mm. if we do get the third tier and I get them all together. <laughs> Something terrible happens, but um, I'll deal with that when we get there. Uh, I'm sure if something terrible happens, we'll either be able to stop it from happening or kill you to make sure you don't do anything bad about it. I'm not sure if I should feel reassured about that. I mean, in the nicest way possible. But, well, know. if the time comes. I would expect the same if anything happened to me. I don't know. What if, what if it was fixable? But we just, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to jump to conclusions. Maybe like sometimes you have put to me make in those a, decisions. Tie me up or something. 
rather than just kill me, break. you know. Wait it out. Um, you, you've met the people we travel with, yes? They're not exactly yeah, yeah. fond of waiting it out. <laughs> I don't know. When those uh, gorgons almost turn you to stone, I think I would have been willing to wait that out. Does that count? Mm -hmm. Maybe. We don't know until it happens. I think there's a difference between turning to stone and you being overpowered by some sort of elemental lord or something or some releasing some sort of horrific thing that uses you as its puppet. Well, anyway. Probably about a mile out. We should probably start walking back. I don't know what uh, <laughs> everyone else has to do with the day, but I'll stop yeah, by the table and let them know that we'll be taking the horses at some point soon. Yes. It's quite nice out here. No, I'll just... Walk on back. What about you? Um, Brooks. What are you doing? I'm going to go find Cass after what Jax asked me this morning. I'm assuming that she's hovering either around or outside whatever room Jax and Diagon are working. Yeah. At this point, uh, Jax will um, kind of... Um, I'm going to be upstairs in in, a, in my room to do some research. Um, could I... Have you given him the egg yet? I don't think so, right? Nope. Could I have the egg so that I can start, you know, my day, as it were? <clears throat> I will pull the egg out <laughs> of the vessel. And okay. give it to Daigon. Well, that, that, that works. Um, Daigon, would you accompany me upstairs then? I'll just nod. Uh, I'm going to sign to Daigon. Um, if I'm not back by sundown, destroy it yourself. Yes? I'll do one small nod. It's a bit dramatic, but okay. And, um... And he'll go upstairs and kind of like speak to Daigon like half in gibberish, like yeah, so I'm to, kind of half talking to himself, half talking to Daigon, yeah. like kind of trying to get her to understand his plan for the day, <laughs> but it just doesn't really make much sense to you. I'm also here, and he's like, "Hold this, pass me this." I'm just like, yeah. "Okay," and like um, that. I just got the best image though, because my mm -hmm. my Elder Scrolls Online character is a hairless cat, and she has these like jeweler goggles and wears these funky like half inventor, half like jeweler lenses. And now I just want <laughs> Daigon to have a pair when she's helping Jack, so I look like my Opus <laughs> <laughs> nice. oh, um, so Okay, so in the meantime, while that's going on, uh, Brooks, you were gonna approach Kess? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna sort of keep an eye out to make sure that I'm not going anywhere fucking near uh, the owner of the establishment. <laughs> I'm gonna find Kess and be like, right, well, they're doing fucking boring shit all day. Let's go cause some trouble. Come on. Okay. What do you have in mind? That was much fucking easier than I expected it to be. Um, <laughs> I need honest. a distraction. Honestly, I can't sit here and think about that all day. I'm gonna go insane. That's fair. I know I had like a whole spiel about how like if you stand and hover over him, it'll take longer and then he'll be more likely to argue that he wants to keep it another day because he hasn't finished what he wants to do, but... Uh, fuck it. I mean, I want to go have a look at the magic shop and see if they've cleared out and if it's completely fucking gone. We think very similarly. We do. Uh, Is that a good thing? Probably. Probably not. Mm. Depends which circles we're in. You're not wrong. Um... <laughs> I, 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 I'm just, there was a lot of shit in there, and from what I know of magic items, they're not the sort to just burn. No. No, That's I about think... as far as my fucking knowledge goes, but. <laughs> not very far. No, but I want to give it a fucking look, and, you know, I, we'll go from there. We'll see what happens there, and that'll determine how much chaos we cause later sounds good to me right well 
let's get out of here before you know who starts paying attention. Yeah, you did a really good job at that one. Mm. Look, she's clearly fucking touchy. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Gonna... Yeah. Right, so we will wander out. Okay. Uh, um, I guess that so had to go to towards the, the, the remains of the tenth ring. Yeah. Okay. As, As you walking, get there. Oh, sorry. As we're walking, I'm just going to... I don't know, like... As we're walking, you know you've really put your fucking foot in it with Dagon, right? Like, that's really fucking obvious, and I haven't yet to figure out whether you've just not noticed or whether you're being stubborn as shit. No, she said she was fine. <laughs> I mean, it's true of a lot of people, but especially women. If she tells you she's fine, she's really fucking not. Okay. Put it this way. We've hung around for what? How many fucking weeks now? Like over a month. And is it over a month now? No, nearly a month. Oh, nearly a month since I met Jack, so fuck. Time's Who weird. knows? I don't uh, understand time most of the time. <clears throat> three weeks? Three weeks. In it's that time, almost been three weeks. We're at like 16 days. Or no, yeah. Something like that. Three weeks. In that time. She's never once fucking split off from you at any point. And then you've, you've, and I said to you when you told me that you need to tell Dagon because she's not going to be happy about being the last to know. Oh, I knew you were going to bring that up. Well, because I was fucking right. No, that's how I knew you were going to bring it up. Did you not think maybe it's unusual that all of a sudden she's starting spending time with other people? I've been a little distracted. But fucking what? what? She's supposed to be your best friend. Yeah, and then I pissed off my other best friend, and... You mean the oh. one that you never really bothered to learn the name of? You're not doing well with friendships at the moment, are you? I'm aware. Like, I'm aware. It wasn't that long ago that I wanted to throw something at your head, and apparently now I'm the only one that doesn't hate you. That is a little too true. Apart from Elazarin and Davian, but... Davian doesn't seem to care about anyone, and Elazarin doesn't hate anyone because he's soft. Mm. Yeah, that's fair. I don't you know. I've, to... mm, I've never had friends. Okay. You've never had friends? No. I okay. had Blue when I was growing up, and that was it. And then I had Daigon, and it was very easy because I had, I had Blue, and then I had Daigon when I was, you know, in the world. And then... There are a lot of people, and trying to consider what everyone thinks about everything all the time is not something I'm very used to. And, and I find it hard. You and Daigon have travelled around for a while, right? Hmm. So I'm assuming there have been situations where you've had to sort of rely on each other. Mm-hmm. In terms of, like, means... death. Well, yeah, well, there's going to be situations where you have to trust the people around you, and I think Daigon trusts you quite a fucking lot, judging by the fact that she's been happy to go along with whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. And then, from her perspective, you know, she trusts you, you're supposed to trust her, but you've told me and whoever else. I didn't tell anyone else, they all found out on their own. Yeah, but does Daigon know that? No. So Dagon thinks you've told everyone else before her, the person you're supposed to trust most out of this group of ragtag fuckwits. Okay, this is starting to be more sense to me. Do you, do you get it now why she's no, you know, a little bit put me. out? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You fucking... <sighs> you need to you need to apologize to her and you need to do it in a way that she <laughs> believes you. Not just, oh, I'm sorry that you're upset. I hereby elect that we go by the ragtag fuckwits. <laughs> Same. Party name. Second Done. Date. Second Party date. Name. <laughs> Done. Well, that's that then, I guess. Jax isn't even here to decide on it. Uh, shorten it to anyway. RTF. You need to apologize to Dagon at some point. 
Uh, I know. Probably blue, to be yeah. fair. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I wanted you're... to fix this first. And then see what I can do. But I don't know. Or at the very least, blue knows that you're dealing with this, and when that's done, that's done. Yeah. Diagon, the longer you leave it, the worse it's going to be. Because the mm. longer you leave it, the more she's going to be considering the option that you actually don't give a shit. Mm. Ugh. Interpersonal relationships are really hard, and I don't like it. They're really hard, but they're also really fucking easy. Mm. Are they? Yeah, just don't take shit without asking. If someone is, for some reason, your best friend, you tell them shit before anyone else. Mm, that one's a new one. If you found out something weird, you'd tell Blue before the rest of us, right? Probably. Depends on what it was. Generally. Something fucky. Something weird. Yeah, but i probably just tell it to Blue as in, like, a, here's a piece of gossip. Rather than, like, a, here's a piece of information that could be very important. There's different levels. That's fair. But I guess the difference is that Blue's got an outside perspective on it and knows a lot of shit about you already, whereas, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. Imagine I found something out about whatever the fuck you were looking for. You know, um, I I find something out about Davian's fucking gem, right? Okay. And I go tell Jax, mm -hmm. which sort of makes sense because I've known Jax longer than the rest of you. Mm -hmm. And then I go tell some random person down the fucking street, and then I tell Jax last, and Jax doesn't even necessarily find out for me. He's gonna be a bit pissed off. Hmm. Yeah, you... yeah. <sighs> Is it really that difficult? Yes! My only friend was this big elemental genie who only appeared sometimes. And now you'll be lucky to have that. Now that seems to have uh, gone to hell, and now there's another one. <sighs> Blue, by the sounds of it, has known you for a long time. As long as you mm. don't fuck this shit up any further, he'll forgive you. Daigon, as long as you make amends, will forgive you. But the longer you leave it, the harder it's going to be to build to build that bridge back up. He's just so trusting. Daigon? Yeah. That's what people do when they spend a lot of time together and come to care about each other. I told you, I've never had that. Well, then here's an exercise in learning to do that. You've spent a lot of time with Daigon. Okay, in a fight, Daigon tells you to duck Fighting or... is easy. That's simple, and it doesn't matter, because it's just death. But... Yes Everything no. else outside of that information is dangerous, and so much more can happen from it. Than death. I think your priorities are a bit... That's easy. Wonky. That's simple. It's quick. Not, not always. Over. <laughs> not, not necessarily. I've heard very, very bad That's stories. That's different. That's suffering. Suffering oh, yeah. to the point of death. I suppose that's but an interesting... Death is easier. I suppose that's an interesting distinction. You're not wrong. I just... Look, if if you want to run shit by me, and I'll be like, yeah, you should totally do tell Dragon that, or yeah, it doesn't really fucking matter, that's fine. But if multiple people then know about it for Dragon, of course they're going to be upset. Mm. How would you feel if, I don't know, fuck it. How, how did you feel about the fact that Davian knew Blue's fucking name before you? Um, mildly 
be surprised I hadn't thought of it before. Does it not feel a bit like you wonder why he didn't tell you at any point as well? No, not really. Then I very well operate on it, ask questions, get answers, kind of deal. I'm sure he has a bunch of information that is relevant to me that he hasn't told me. And that's I'm just, just gonna, fine with me. I'm just going to stop relating things to your relationship with other people, because clearly See? they're all fucked in weird ways. And so exactly. I'm just going to really start difficult. telling you what to do. Just fucking apologize to Dagon. Yeah, I will. Right. Eventually. Go kick up some ashes. Oh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> well, you, uh... Eventually arrive at the square that uh, the ten uh, the tenth ring was located at and you can see that uh nothing but just ashes remain there is a squadron of city guards and a lot of caravans d draped in these these purple and yellow uh rugs and 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 banners uh, but instead of horses, they're being pulled forth by camels. And you can see a bunch of um, uh, men and women dressed in these same purple and yellow clothing, very extravagant robes and, and hats with long feathers, uh, loading up the, their caravans with boxes of, of all kinds of supplies salvaged from, from the fire, overseen by the city guards. Well, there's definitely things that survived the fire. Mm. Who the fuck are these guys, though? I have no idea. How many guards are there? Uh, it's, a, it's a squad of six guards. They're all overseeing, making sure that nobody has gets any like funny ideas while these people are, you know, getting all the stuff on their on their caravans. How many people are there loading caravans? Uh, you see three caravans, each with two camels each, uh, and there's two people per caravan just loading stuff in. So six guards, six people. Yeah. I mean, it's not like we can rob the cart and fucking ride off their camels. How fast can they be? Mm, last I remember, not very fast. I wouldn't know. I've never ridden a camel before, but... Oh, I have. It was really fun. We went across the expanse. And we went like really, really fast, me and Dagon tried to race and it did not go so great. You went across the S expanse in a camel. Well, the the yeah. Why? Is my only question. It was fun. Was it? Yeah. It was like joyriding, but with like a camel instead of a horse. So it had a bit of novelty to it. It was fun. Joyriding a camel is not something that I thought I would have as a topic of conversation. Mm. Okay. Well, we'd already stolen really fast horses, so we're... we were like, let's go for something different and choose camels. We're both very distracted at this point. Okay. Mm. Right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> back to the point. How big are the crates, Mr. DM? Uh, various sizes. Some small, some are pretty fucking hefty. Does it look as if, like, because there's such a variance in shapes that, like, they're individually packaged? You're not sure. I mean... We could make a distraction, but that doesn't guarantee that they'll all fuck off. Yeah, I think they'll probably... I have some people guarding the caravans, and then some people go off to investigate. True. We might be able to make them look one way for long enough, though. Mm. I very much doubt we're going to get any of those fucking big boxes, but... No. There's the potential to... Take a small oh, one as tax for risking mm. our fucking lives. Hmm. We can do that, we can take tax. No, I'm just oh. politely putting it that we're going to steal it. But Oh, okay, that's fine. We're going to steal that's it, not because food. we're thieves, but because we risked our lives and deserve something. And we're thieves. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, we could disguise ourselves, but... We could. I could go invisible, but I'm feeling they'll be able to see through that. Or have some kind of defense against that. Against a magic disguise? Yeah. I mean, they're picking up tons of magic stuff. I mean... I don't know. To be honest, I don't know how common it is for people to be able to see through magic disguises. I assumed in a magic shop that you wouldn't be able to, but just out in the street, I mean... Mm -hmm. You know, are they likely to be casting spells on themselves just in case someone turns up disguised? They do have a lot of guards. As well. So. They could be putting a lot of trust into the guards themselves. And not actually giving a shit about what's happening. Mm. Do any of the people in their robes look as though they're magic practitioners? <laughs> um... Like, do any what would you like be looking for look? that would give that away, according to Brooks? Uh, a spell book is probably the only thing he'd know to look for. Make a perception check. Where are my dice? They're all here. Perception. Mm -hmm. I don't win these. That's a nine. You just see six people dressed in these like purple and yellow, very colorful, very extravagant clothing, just loading up carts and going. Uh, basically, uh, there's a there's just like a stack of boxes and and stuff that are kind of like the guards are guarding, which the these people keep walking up to, picking up crates and loading it into the various carts. Uh, but nothing really that like tells you oh this guy uh, looks like an expert swordsman oh that guy or that gal looks like a spellcaster you have no fucking clue yeah okay. do, do the robes or anything look familiar to me at all um how long did you travel around the expanse again a year and a half make a history check the year and a half was our whole time. I don't think all of that would be the expanse. Well, about a year then, probably. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Make Hold a, on. Make a, okay. make a history check. Have a look. Uh, history. I was like a year, I guess, and Laura's like got like a full travel itinerary. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, I had the journal entry on Kess opening, so I was editing it. Um, uh, sixteen. Um. You know that these people, uh, they're a rare sight. They uh, belong to an order called the Guild of the Traveling the Camel. Traveling Camel! Hey! Um, yeah, baby. You know that this is a group of uh, traders that uh, travel from place to place, pick up curiosities and trinkets and odds and ends, uh, and um, as a guild, then um, sell them to one of the whoever camels is willing is to trim. put down the um, coin. One of the traders is gay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so they, you know that these people typically go where there is magic trinkets to find for them to buy and then sell on down the line once they're uh, once they've collected enough that they can start like spreading out or something. Sometimes they also take specific orders from people that are like, oh, we're looking for this item, go find that for us. Um, that's also a thing they do. Um, yeah, you know that these people, this order doesn't really have like a set, oh, these are shops that belong to them, they just, they're traveling merchants, uh, and they formed a guild to kind of always have people to travel with, get some recognition, um, make a name for themselves, uh, and they basically just travel to and from wherever there's magic items or a need for magic items that they might possess. And obviously, with a magic shop burning down and an abundance of magic items would definitely draw their attention and uh, it strikes you that they've probably struck in a deal with um, the town of Streatham to take, you know, in exchange for a good lump sum, take these magic items off their hands and, uh, you know, uh, you know, do business with, pretty much. They got here fast. The, the merchants, I mean. You, you are muted. Well, that depends where they came from. Mm. I don't know. They might live down the fucking road. 
<laughs> I'm just I would traveling merchants that just happen to live in Threesome. Well, I assume the property costs are fairly low because this place is a shithole, but... Yeah, it's, it's really awful, yeah. I've done like this time. You'll die from smoke inhalation at the age of 42, but hey, you can get three bedrooms for the price of a studio apartment in Eldalon. <sighs> oh, the days when I lived in a tree. Every time you say something... Every time you say something, it's like... 50-50 on whether I believe you or are you just making up some random bullshit <laughs> and seeing how far you can push it. You lived in a fucking tree. No, I did not. I was just making up random bullshit. <laughs> I'm fucking glad that I called you out on it then. I lived in a cliff. In a cliff, not on a yeah, cliff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, inside the cliff. Like in a cave. Kind of, but we made it. A man-made cave. Yeah, in a cliff. So a cave. Yeah, in, in a cliff. Okay, well, I mean, that one I believe. That one makes a lot of sense. It had multiple stories. It was a really nice cave. No, I changed my mind. I don't believe that you lived in a cave. Okay. That's your prerogative, <laughs> I guess. I didn't know there were any fucking cliffs in the Valen Forest. Mm-hmm. Of course are. Mr. DM, are there cliffs in the Valen Forest? <laughs> um, make a history check. <laughs> Do I get advantage because I'm from Sigalia and that's, you know, same continent smile? That's like asking, oh, I live in Florida, I know exactly what Nebraska looks like. No, you don't get advantage, prick. Look, I've got to ask, okay, it's history, <laughs> I'm not exactly gonna, you know, I've got a fucking plus one, baby. No, plus zero, sorry. Two. You have no idea. <laughs> Never been. You know, there's a lot of woods, but the, you have no idea what else is there. I just. Why would you live in a cliff in a forest when you could just. It was a really nice cliff. cliff. You could just fuck. Why is it easier to bore into a cliff than it is just to cut down a tree and make a house? We had a lot of time. It was like everyone else lived in. in buildings made out of like logs and log cabins and stuff like that and then i lived in a cliff ah this is bullshit this is i don't believe it for a fucking second okay <laughs> bullshit <laughs> okay so, um what do you want to do what's the plan um master master thief i am the one who didn't get stabbed yet so you're apparently so good at, at stealing things. What's your plan? Uh, you create a distraction. I sneak up invisible, stick my hand in, grab something small, sneak away. <laughs> Not the most elegant of plans. Like, why do you need an elegant plan? I'm not saying we need an elegant plan. I just I expected a little more flamboyance from you. Well, I might pull out mage hand, but. Oh, big guns. Mm. She's gonna have a hand, but it's magic. Yeah, it's magic. Magic hand. It's a magic hand. Mm -hmm. Hence the name. Magic hand. Mage hand. Surely every hand of a wizard is a mage hand. Mm. <laughs> I'm not a wizard. Alright, well shit, what sort of distraction do you want? I don't know. Real You're fucking the one helpful. who seems to make... A great deal of noise about themselves at all time. I figured you could work something out for yourself. Didn't need me to spoon feed you that. Alright, Mrs. fucking mage hand. <laughs> Alright. You ready? Um, sure. Okay. I'm gonna probably go invisible. Just... Okay. Find somewhere to go invisible. <laughs> right, right, right. Ah, oh, this is gonna go terribly. I'm gonna get arrested. Oh, this is gonna be hilarious. <laughs> it's gonna be fun though. <laughs> okay. Uh, assuming that Kess is smart enough to go to the side, because I can't see her now. She's invisible. Correct. Assuming that she's smart enough to go to the side where. 
the cats are exposed to, I will go. I will Actually wander off to the front. So, like, the direction the cats are facing. Mm hmm. And I'll sort of slip down an alley down there if there is one. Sure. And um, pull out my disguise kit. Okay. Um, what sort of disguise am I going to do? I'm going to pull out a really tatty coat, coat I have in there. I'm gonna take off my suit jacket. I'm going to throw this tatty coat over me. And there's a fucking straw hat. And slap on some, like, the fake old man beard. I'm gonna walk up to the front of the carts. Mm -hmm. I'm make a, to... um, can you make me a check first? What sort of check do you want? Uh, what did we do last time? Was it intelligence to kind of figure out if you can if you can like make a you know a believable disguise? I think that's what we did I last time. Honestly, cannot remember. I think that's what we did last time. So just do that. Straight intelligence. Yeah. It's and if you're prof and proficiency, if you're proficient with it. Yeah, I'm good. proficient with it. Yep. Well, my intelligence is shit, but I got an actual 20. Okay. Hey! 23. Okay, good to know. Uh, sorry, 22. My proficiency is plus 2. Good to know, good to know. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna stealth up to the side that is Make open. a stealth check with advantage, because you're invisible. Wait, I also want to kind of... Rock. I fell on the floor. Ah, cool. Uh, plus 34, 3, 17, uh, 22. 22. Hey, samesies. Okay. Good to know. Does anyone seem to notice me? Like, while I'm invisible, just checking to make sure no one can see through the invisibility. Make a perception check. Uh, 19. As far as you can tell, you're fine. Okay, sick. Right. Cool. I'm this gonna walk up to the front. And I'm gonna find whoever catches my eye first. Okay. And in my best Jack's voice. Are you going I'm... for guard or uh, someone with like the flamboyant purple and yellow clothing. I'm going to go for someone with the robes because I think the guards will be more likely to pay attention to that than okay. just a guard talking to me. Okay. So I'm going to go for someone in the robes okay. and I'm going to very loudly walk up to them and be like, you people taking the products of our town away, ruining our economy. Look at all these factories. We used to have a lovely economy here. The, the housing has fallen apart. And just go on. Did like you a understand massive... that by taking these magic items away from your town, we are infusing a lot of money in your economy, sir? I bet you paid nickels to the dollar for these. What is a dollar? It's a, <laughs> an old expression you wouldn't understand. You right? Could you please people. bugger off? You're bothering us, being annoying. You are. A, what's wrong with this town? You but luckily we're not from here and we'll be gone at the it. end of the day, so you have nothing I'm to worry about, I'm going to draw as much attention as possible and be as loud as I can. While, I, while he's doing that, I'm going to, like, slip a hand up through and just grab whatever is smallest and easiest to grab. Um, roll... Roll these six for me. Okay. Ooh, five. Okay. Uh, while this is all happening... Uh, a couple of guards come over and uh, start to basically kind of usher you to fuck Don't off. Don't you touch me! It's either I touch you here or we throw you in jail. Bugger off, old man. The, are all of the other guards looking at me at this point? No. Just the two that approached. Just the two. And the other four, are they, what are they doing? Just standing guard near the near the supplies, making sure that you know there's two there's two of them standing by the stack of boxes, and there's two of them by the caravans, making sure that nobody tries to like tries to like sneak into the caravan or anything. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna start backing away from these guards, 
And I'm going to start throwing copper pieces on the floor in front of them. Just with no logic whatsoever. Just on the floor? Yeah, just on the floor as aggressively as I can. Um... <laughs> start spouting absolute gibberish. Gibberish? Gibberish, gibberish. Both. Gibberish. Both, both are... I don't know. Mm, that one, I think they are. I'm pretty sure both are correct. <laughs> I've yeah. never heard gibberish. I'd say never. Do you know, do you know who would say gibberish? Someone who's spouting gibberish. So fair, fair, fair. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Um, I, like you they don't really pay man. mind to you chucking copper pieces. Uh, they're just trying to like usher you to like the two guards are basically at this point like one is on your left side, one is on your right side, and they're just like ushering you, like just basically helping you fuck off. Um. Bell, what did you roll on your d6? What did you roll? Five. And you you went to like the stack of boxes or to one of the caravans and just kind of like put your hand in there and just... Uh, it's caravans. Okay. Um, <laughs> so you just kind of walk up to one of the caravans and just put a hand in just like through the curtains and just... Yeah. And yeah, yeah you managed to, manage to find like a small, small little box that you kind of like, that f like fit that you can grab with your hand and... It is now floating outside the, ca the caravan, though, so you're going to have to... I'm going to misty step as far away as I possibly can towards an alley. <laughs> Immediately. Okay. Just okay. bam out. Fair enough. Uh, that, and that you do. At this point, uh, Brooks, uh, the guards will have kind of ushered you, ushered you away from the shop, like, down the main street, which also leads towards the Chubby Dwarf, and about, about like... Uh, they like kind of like push you, just keep pushing you along for like a minute or two, and then they're like, "All right, you just go on your merry way. We're gonna go back to our post. If we see you again, you're going to prison." Is he trying to scare me, or is he like genuinely like, "I'm gonna fucking arrest you, old man"? Oh no, he seems that he is. He's being very serious. <laughs> this is not a scare tactic. This is the truth. <laughs> <laughs> this poor old man clearly doesn't know what's going on and they're like we're gonna throw you in jail as they should yeah. <laughs> it's not their job to figure out if you're mentally there it's just their job to keep the peace and keep order not all cops i'll anyway. just <laughs> wave my hand at them in like a bah, and walk off okay now i'll head for an alleyway and i'll make sure no one's around and i'll take the disguise off Alrighty. i'll go find him uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna fucking... yeah. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Alright. What do you, uh, so what do you guys do? Uh, I'll... I'll find him and then drop the invisibility when I'm right next to him. Like, I got something! Me! Jesus fucking Christ. I got something! Is it someone's pack launch or is it something useful? I don't know yet, I haven't looked. I just grabbed whatever I could and then... Got out of there. As Dutch pulls up the inventory to figure out what you stole. Pretty much. Yay! <laughs> What'd you be cursed this year? <clears throat> DM's like, fine, it's gonna I mean, be given, cursed. I mean, given Belle's luck, of course it's gonna be cursed as shit. This is just the next version of that black gem that was gonna turn her into a werewolf from campaign oh, one. Oh, listen. It's that, that, I mean, it is surprised. that black gem. It is that the same like, one! 30 <laughs> years later. <laughs> no one will let me forget this. Because yeah, last campaign really it was don't touch the magic shit. Now it's um, okay. Yeah. Go touch it. <laughs> so you open up the little box. Yeah. And die. Uh, there's a ring in it. Ooh. Cool. Okay. I don't know what this is. Uh, it's just a ring. Sure, it's, it's not just a ring. It's from a magic store. Oh yeah, obviously, but I don't know what it does. I don't have that. That that's that's Jax's thing, right? He's the one who. Can I tell anything it? about the ring? Like, I'm assuming I won't know what sort of magic it has but can i tell anything about it just from like the way that it's made um there is a figure kind of engraved into the uh the ring mm. um which kind of looks like a, a woman dancing is she attractive <laughs> It's a fucking <laughs> ring engravement motherfucker uh, no. is yeah. the woman is engraved on the one? ring attractive <laughs> Is it a sexy Books ring? Will literally fuck anything, so yes, probably. <laughs> it's a hole. <laughs> it's a bit small, unless it's a fucking ring for an ogre. 
It's a magic ring, isn't it? It's magic not that sort fits, of ring. <laughs> fit, fits the size, mate. Magic ring. Mm. Fits the size. Oh, uh, no. No, we said you needed hands to attune to a magic ring. That is true. Um, uh, yeah, that's 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 what it looks like. Uh, okay, cool. Now what? <laughs> what metal is it? I know I'm uh, It's like a silver. Okay. I mean, we can wait until Jax is done with his shit and get him to identify it. I mean, obviously that's what we're going to do. Although maybe don't tell him, or don't tell anyone we stole it, because. Do me a favor. Put the mm -hmm. ring in your bag and pass me the box. Okay, I will do that. We're gonna fucking launch the box onto someone's roof. <laughs> make a make an athletics check. Athletics. Uh, athletics. Uh, do 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 do. Sixteen. Yeah, you eat that shit, and you have it. Just it just goes west somewhere, and pfft, you have no idea. Now into the great out. beyond. Now we distance. find out the real surprise is the box was the magic item, and he just like blew up someone's house. <laughs> it's a lead line box. It goes up, it comes down, and kills someone on the other street. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, 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 Jax will be sitting um, in his room. Daigon, he'll be there, and he'll basically. Um, okay, so if you could just put the egg on the table, and I will, I will go ahead and do some in investigating. And he kind of like, uh, it's Jax that has the glasses, right? Or no, no, he gave. Is it Jax that yeah, has like uh, the? I think got him. I think Davin Davin got him. Davin. he gave him. He gave him yeah. to me. Yeah. Right, so he's he not gonna put the glasses on, and get a closer look. He's just gonna get a closer look without glasses on. Uh, mm -hmm. And he's going to just kind of investigate it, see what he can find. Okay. And he'll kind of talk to, um, I think if I, um, if my, uh, theory is correct, I can, I can infuse my gauntlets, you know, the gauntlets that I use to do, you know, thunder damage, you know, lightning and thunder with, I can infuse this egg or the power of the essence of, of the creature inside to, um, potentially also make my gauntlets, um, uh, a bit more fiery besides just thunder and lightning. That's, that's, that's the, that's the plan. Um, what I do need from you, though, Daigon, if you don't mind, um, and he reaches into his, like, bag and gives you a coin purse. Could you please head to, um, the, the crafting district and, and, and pick me up about 50 gold worth of steel? Oh, okay, I take the, the, the coin purse, and I'm gonna write, get, write a note first, and say, sure. I'll do this, but if I get back and you're gone, just Where am know I, going to I, go? I will find you. I Where will am hunt I you down. Go? You might ride out of town. I'll be here waiting uh, for you to return. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll I'll take it, and I'm gonna go. And I want to. Hold up, wait, before I go, I, I write again. Wait, what'd you ask me to buy again? Oh, 50 gold worth of steel. Okay. And I want to use all my super, my, my speediness as a cat to try and, like, book it there and book it back <laughs> so he's not left unattended for too long. Literally <laughs> fucking... Let the fucking flash <laughs> just... Yeah, I got these so guards. I'm Naruto running down the street. <laughs> these guards have just got round from turning this old man towards the tavern. And they turn back and then just pass the fucking Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. <laughs> no, this will this will happen like while you're still like outside of the shop, like scheming, like little fucking miscreants you two are. And um, just you yeah. hear merchants getting shit knocked over all the fucking time, just be like, um, my cabbages. I mean, yeah, I mean, you easily enough. You went, you go to like the the more factory district of the of the of the town, find uh, the forge, which I think you've been before, right? That's, yeah, because Jax rents it out. With, with Jax, uh, yeah, he rented yeah. it for. So day, you know yeah. where to go. Uh, you go yep. to that forge and, and easily purchase like 50 gold worth of um, like steel bars off of uh, off uh, the, the owner. And you return and yep. you can see that uh, Jax's gloves at this point uh, have like this, this, this red sheen to it and look a little, mm -hmm. look a little scaly. And uh, the egg uh, is gone. But you can definitely see traces of it, like in, in like entwined with his gauntlets. 
Mm -hmm. And oh, your bag is, is that? Did, did you find? Did you find the steel? Mm -hmm. And I'll nod and hand it over. Perfect. Okay. Um, what I need you to do is, and he, he kind of basically, like, kind of almost like guides you to sit down. Um, what I need you to do is uh, take these tools, and he, he puts like a, a random bunch of tools like in your hands, mm -hmm. and uh, the steel. Um, I'm going to, to to wrap it around, and I need you to just kind of give it a, give it a few good clanks with the hammer, if you don't like, if you don't mind. Okay. A um, nod. So basically, he kind of like. Uh, Let's you kind of just uh, before hammer. I do that, Dutch. Can mm -hmm. I ask? Like, because I see the egg's gone. It looks mm -hmm. like he's used part of it, so I can see like material that looks like the egg is on his gauntlets. Is yes. what you're saying? Yeah. Can I see any other? Like, is there eggshell on the ground? Is there like liquid? Is there any evidence to show the destruction of the egg, other than just the remnants there, or is it no? So I'm like, how the did only, that not have left only the remnants of the egg you see is what you see on his gauntlets. Did I see him? Because I know I took a piece of the egg shell when we smashed it. So mm -hmm. I know I've been carrying around pieces of just the shell. Mm -hmm. For all I know, he could have been too, and the egg is fine, and the egg is stashed somewhere. Can I do a quick look? Is there anything? Because it's like it's his, it's not like a big area of the room. Is there anything that looks different in the room from when I left? Like, not something as obvious. Like, there's a large object with a blanket over it in the corner. That'd be a bit... <laughs> but, like... I mean, are you just like, giving maybe a glance, something... or are you actually going to, like, actively fucking search the room? For now, I'll just do a glance. Make uh, a perception I don't want to let him know I've tipped him off yet that I think me. I'm just... I'm, I don't, I don't completely distrust him, but I'm also like, this seems... Mm -hmm. you, a three-foot-tall egg disappeared very quickly. I didn't roll very well, though, because I'm doing a quick uh, 10. Uh, no, uh, pff, no. Okay. As far as you can tell, there's nothing that screams, oh, the egg's hidden here or anything. He's just... Okay. You can, see, you can definitely see traces of, of like, the, the dragony scales that, that, that covered the egg on, on his uh, gauntlets. You can also see that there's definitely, like, a red, like, hue, mm -hmm. almost like an aura that kind of, like, now, like, surrounds his gauntlets that wasn't there okay. before. Well, I'll go ahead and hammer whatever it was he told me to, to hammer. All right. And uh, yeah, you spend the next uh, few hours just kind of clanging away, uh, basically shaping the steel. To, uh, and then after after that, Jax takes the steel piece you've made and just kind of shoves it onto onto the gauntlet and, and just kind of mm -hmm. looks at him. Perfect. The steel is mainly for decoration, but they look cool, don't they? I just nod yes. So, I, I, I've yet to, you know, field test these, of course, but uh, if my theory is correct, I should be able to now also deal, you know, d d d d have some, some, some fiery punches. So we'll have, to, we'll have to wait until, I don't know, whatever ugly pests we find next mm -hmm. to, to, to see if they work intended or mm -hmm. if they go going to blow up in my face. But, you know, that's the exciting part about field testing. You, you never know what you're mm -hmm. going to get. Remind me, who in our, our party has... Someone has a bag of holding, right? Uh, Jax? Jax. Jax. That's yeah, what I Jax. mean. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna, uh, since he's, as he's like modeling them and like, oh, pretty cool. I'm gonna write, uh, on a page in the back of my journal. Where'd the rest of the egg go? It doesn't look like the whole thing is on your gauntlets. Well, see, the way I've infused these gauntlets is, is, is with, with magic, right? And, and my, my, my tinkerous tools, and um, it just kind of... I, I don't know how to explain this, but it, it's kind of sucked it up, almost. Okay. Is the bag of holding somewhere in the room? Is it just, like, out, or does he keep no, it he on him? Like, is it, like, it a satchel, like or is it... a satchel, satchel it... type thing that he always has, like, down okay. the side. Um, I'm gonna ask... I have to ask just to be sure and I'd understand and I understand the temptation again writing this down because he doesn't know sign mm -hmm. language and and I I ask you to be honest with me there's the egg isn't in the bag of holding no, it's not in your bag and I point at his waist right here insight check do I believe him Roll an insight check <laughs> <laughs> okay that's not bad 19 let me quickly see what Jack's stats are. Not great. 19? Yes. Okay. Does he twitch? Is there a bead of sweat? Or is he looking? Um, 
As far as you can tell, it's he's genuine. Uh, you do not detect any traces of like obvious lies when he says that the okay. bag that the egg is not in the bag of holding. Okay. Uh, then I'll on the same piece of paper, and this will be the last thing I write in that piece of paper, and then I'll rip it out of the journal. Um, just because, or as a, a as a thanks for being honest with me, I feel like I should tell you. Kes had asked me to destroy the egg at, if she hadn't come back by the end of the day. Well, I mean, I and... took, took care of that for you. I'm still writing it. Oh, I shit, fuck. I it's writing, right? I'll talk right? Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> and, say, and while I want to for fear, I wanted to for fear of what was inside it, I wasn't going to because I still owe you a debt. And I wanted you to know that. And I give him the paper that says that. I appreciate that. Well, I took care of that problem for you, but, um... Alright. And then I take the paper and rip it up so no one can read it, so <laughs> no one finds it, and Kes gets mad at me later. <laughs> Shred it with my claw. I, um... It's, it's, it's... Uh, yeah, well, I, I understand. Um, well, we, we won't have to worry about it. Uh, everybody happy. I've got my fancy new gloves, and... Whatever this, this blue is, uh, if he's even real, um... No more dragon egg, so... Win-win. I just nod. All right, well, um, that's me done for the day, so let's go grab a drink. Not again. Okay, uh, and with that, uh, unless there's anything that people uh, are want to do with their day, um, you know, right. evening comes, you say goodbye to Sai, uh, which we've already done last, uh, last episode, and, uh, you know, y'all go to bed to awaken the next day, refreshed. Um, Wait, does it gonna... have to come back and ask about the egg? Yeah. Right. Cause... Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Even there's... falls. Say goodbye to Sai. You all kind yeah. of gather as a group at the table. Uh, you mean the t the tavern that I can't come in? Was it just that one day? Is she gonna let you in mm -hmm. now? Because maybe if you if you ask nicely and you learned your lesson. I assume it was I, just for that I night. know that that's a possibility. Um, I'm gonna approach the tavern keep. Hey, Pit. Hi. Um, I just, you know how you kicked out my friend yesterday. Mm-hmm. Um, I was wondering if it would be okay if he could come back in tonight, and he won't talk. Is he I will make sure he doesn't talk. No bed again. I will make sure he isn't. You have. Right, he can come in. Okay. Thank but you. Make sure he behaves, because I'll kick him out just as quick as I did last time. As you should. <laughs> okay. I'll go stick my head out the door and be like, Brooks, you can come in now. Just don't talk. Don't talk, I don't talk want... to the tavern key. Who says I want to come in? I do. Come in. <laughs> I, I fucking guess. Okay. Just being ordered in by Cass, okay. <laughs> Mommy? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you all uh, gather around a table. Um, how did the egg thing go? Look! And uh, Jax puts his gloves up, and you can see, like, the red hue traces of, of, of like, the scales that the egg uh, consisted of, and mm -hmm. some, like, steel kind of, like, shape kind of, like, twisted around it. Egg's gone. I've got some new gloves. Oh, well, the same Thanks. gloves, but better. Yeah. And there's nothing left of the egg besides nope. what's in those gloves. Nope. T t basically, the, the way I did it was, um, I, I grabbed my tools, and at first I, 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 I took a lot of, you know, uh, investigating the egg, kind of getting, the, you know, lack of libraries and books in this town really made it a little about. hard. Um, but I, um, basically, the way I, I, I grabbed some of my, my, my more magical tools and, and, and the, the, the basic applied some pressure and and when i figured out what i wanted to do um it i kind of infused my gloves with the egg which kind of just sucked it up if that makes sense and um, i insight check that sure oh but before you do as as he finishes oh. i would sign to kes 
I did ask point blank if he'd stowed the egg in the bag of holding when I wasn't looking. He said he didn't, and I I do believe him. Rolled, uh, where's my insight? Uh, 25. Um, what was the exact question you were asking? I said, there's nothing the left of the egg outside of what is in those gauntlets. You can tell that there, his face kind of twitches and there's definitely a bit of a, like a, like a thing of, what's the word I'm looking for? He, ha, I'm looking for the word. Hesitancy. No, not that. Nervousness. Uh, Smugness. Almost like regret, kind of. Oh. Um, and he basically says, besides the occasional crumb you could find on my, you know, probably on the floor or, or you know, part of the parts of the thing that, 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 I took off before infusing it, um, no. The ring I need you to identify. Okay. I will pass in the ring. Right, um, now he begins to cast Identify, which takes... Yeah, I've been back we, at this we, point. We, we yeah, have yeah. a ring. Absolutely, absolutely, everyone's back. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, yeah. We have a ring. Yeah, 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 Brooks, Brooks got where it with you... me. No, where did you get it from? No, um, I want a ring. Yeah, we want it. There was a, you know, one of those shitty, shitty fucking side street cup games that's designed. Oh, fun. you know what's gonna happen. You know, unfortunately, <laughs> I I know those games really fucking well because I used oh, to yeah. come people with them. I mean, so most oh. of them are scams, as we know. All of them are scams. If you right, you're lying. Right. I would like to check if. if you can... <laughs> bullshit. So I'll, yeah, I'll put, roll persuasion. I like to take their bullshitting, please. Okay. <laughs> 23. Any of advantage because I'm helping? It's almost Ooh. like it's almost like insight is my best thing. What do I need? This is deception. <laughs> I need, okay, I need persuasion. A... <laughs> deception. <laughs> of course I'm not gonna roll persuasion. It's I know. not the truth. I know. <laughs> but he just felt you like I'm gonna be persuasion. I got exactly deception. what I fucking needed. Oh, 24. <sighs> yeah. Which is a natural 20 for me. That's all I can oh. fucking do. Oh, I see. Mr. Fucking 20 score. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> okay. hell. Hey, man. So angry. I feel like I don't fully believe you, but I've got no reason to not believe you. Or it's that tightly knit. <laughs> score of one. I think it's going to be, I don't, I'm not going to just suddenly stop fucking believe you, but I'm not going to be like. <laughs> I, think, I think it would be fair to be like. He doesn't I'm, seem like he's lying, but I also know Brooks as a person. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. It's like, it's like I'm not, I don't suddenly now fucking believe you, but also I'm like, mm. I mean, it's fucking these lies. Given okay, everything I know about yeah. you two. Yeah, yeah, given everything I know about you two and what's just happened, I'm like, they probably didn't fucking get it from that, but they probably mm. got it from somewhere. <laughs> hey, maybe they found it in there and we played the game and. Yeah, that's what, that's what I mean. It's that like. We did play a game. The game was Steal the Ring. <laughs> And we won! <laughs> Seal the ring from people that are Lazarin admires. Yep. I've marked down some copper pieces, by the way. Dutch. <laughs> nice. How much did throw, you throw? Chuck another piece. How much people? did I throw? I threw yeah. all the like copper I had on me, which was uh, 20 copper. Oh shit. Damn. <laughs> That's two whole silver. Damn. Those people are going to be like, yeah. I don't have ruining the fucking economy. Um, <laughs> Jax will kind of uh, like pipe up. Oh, oh, I know what I know what this is. Um, this is um, a, a dancer's ring. Um, if you equip it, um, you'll begin to feel a little more acrobatic, if it, as it were. Oh, that's interesting. Is this thing up for grabs? If neither me nor Cass want it, I guess. Yeah, well, I mean, awesome. I don't really need it. Daigon, do you want it? Um, I'll in sign language say, I mean, I wouldn't say no, but I consider myself fairly acrobatic, so it's if there are others who could use it. It's going to Daigon. 
It's Digons, the literal cat. The, the yep. one that <laughs> couldn't possibly use any more. Yep. I don't, have a 20, or... I don't have a 20 stat yet. What do you mean? Bleak don't say could have possibly. <laughs> to be fair, yeah, I did debate okay. saying that I wanted it. Because I have some knack for acrobatics, but generally it's just easier to, you know. Why do three fucking backflips to climb a wall when you can just climb a wall? Yeah, but I owe Digon, so it goes to Digon. What do you yeah, owe okay, you owe Digon. Maybe don't just hand it to her. Maybe explain why you're giving it to her. Oh, do I have to do that as well? Yes, you fucking have to. Oh, shit. <laughs> you, you... <clears throat> I feel you... very out of the loop here. <clears throat> as, as we're saying this, I just, like, slide the ring back across the table. I, I want it. I want it to be said for the record, Dagon, that they were fully enthusiastic on this beforehand. I think it's more that everyone else is here and not that they don't want to have this conversation with you. Mm -hmm. Right, Cass? Yeah. I don't. I'm. I'm changing the sign. <laughs> well, before we decide who gets ring, can I just see it? I do have a mm. passion for looking at rings. I bet you oh, do. Yeah, he's a jeweler. No, yeah. as as uh, as you look at the pose of his hand, it's like a ring on fucking each finger. Is there a gem in the dancer ring? No, it's sure just that a lovely band band the like that, would tell us the same. Of da a I'll woman. I'll take the ring off the table and I'll I'll go move over and sit next to a Lazarin and I'll start being a nerd about fucking the ring's construction with him. Yeah, I'm just gonna look at it. pops out like the little like you know like the little fucking yeah the little like, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. It looks here. It looks here because because the figure mark. The figure's warped by just a little bit along here. It looks like they actually carved it before they formed it into a ring, rather than mm. forming it into a ring. Does it? Does it have? Does it have a hallmark on it, or is it just a generic ring? Uh, it does. Oh, you recognize is it? it? Uh, yes. Mm. Oh, of, oh. Who is it? Who is it? Oh. Your family. Joe Mama's. What? Oh. <laughs> oh, would you look? Well, would you look at that? This is excellent quality ring, and I know because it has the Venorton bar. Hallmark. Look, uh, the so one now? Please. The Nord Dunbar. Yeah. Just like Dunbar? Name, I'll, I'll have like a look. Is it is it name. the family the sigil Dunbar. like Hallmark? It, the family the family sigil and the Hallmark are slightly different. Are they? <laughs> of, What's the difference? Uh I'm not telling you that. Because <laughs> it's subtle. Because <laughs> it's subtle. Okay. <laughs> Mr. DM, can I look at this and tell what the difference is between the sigil and the fucking Hallmark? Make an investigation check. Oh. So does it's this mean weird. the Lazarin's family made it? Yes. That's yes. what it means? This, this is the mm. this is a one of the rings that the Lazarin's oh. family has made. Twelve. <laughs> You're not sure. It's if there is a difference, it's very subtle. Yeah, it's very subtle. Perfect. The difference is very subtle, which means most people won't notice if I fake it. Uh yes. Luckily, I'm not most people. <laughs> That's fine. I I promise not to sell you any rings with your own family sigil on them. I don't say it to anyone who's of, you know, higher ep echelons either. That would be great. Just, you know, mi mid mid range and lower. That's all what I mean? ask. They're gonna, buy market, it. Is it? They're, gonna, they're gonna buy it from me. They're gonna yes. find out it was a fake later on, be pissed, and then come to you to buy the real thing. I'm just Hold drumming on. up extra business for you. <laughs> this ring's magic. Yes. Yes, but that... uh, it was probably infused later on. Um, so the that's ring not your family thing. No, uh, no, we probably just made the ring and shipped off. We make loads, but don't you make a lot of rings with this specific carving then, and then they're just used for whatever people want to use them, or um, is it custom carv made or carvings tend to be a bit both. We have generic carvings, you know, for bulk order magic shops for you know particular rings like fire resistant rings, for example. You know, make a history check. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Natural one. <laughs> oh. I'm saying what I think. I'm saying what I think. Keep going. Fuck you and your world law. Fuck you and your world law. I'm saying what I think. Pretty much. So, well, this is what, this is what Lazarin believes happens. Mm -hmm. You know, but some people do, you know, we do custom orders if someone wishes to it. If they want to make a specific, you know, enchantment in mind, we might do it for them. At a. As, as someone that can do stuff like this but doesn't specialize in rings is there a particular reason why you carve it before you bend it is it stronger is it easier? i don't i'm going to tell you not my complete forte i'm more of a seller of the rings and more of a business to business sort of operation uh you'd have to ask i tell you what if you don't get stabbed by the shady group that are trying <laughs> to the marketing you. for his family 
literally if, if you, he is the marketing get, director. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't get killed off by by whoever is fucking trying to do you in, and we do circle back and meet her and your family, I'd love to talk to whoever makes rings. If we if we ever go back to the kingdoms, I will happily give you all a tour of the estate and I am the going to lift out my necklace and show Elazar that I have a ring on my necklace that he's probably seen when we've been in the bath. <laughs> I've seen, <laughs> I've seen plenty of rings with food men in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> um, this, this one. Yeah. This one's on a chain. Oh. Oh. I'll, I'll look at what it. Means, and... Someone might have a piercing. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. No. Oh, fucking. Uh, <laughs> that means got a Prince Albert. Oh. <laughs> We're talking about <laughs> bottle piercings here, though. Not... <laughs> um, oh, that's still a hole. Yes, I will. I mean, I'll look at the ring and. Properly inspect it if you allows me to. And um, it did you make have... this or? Yeah, yeah, I made this. Mm. Um, it no. wouldn't have a fucking um maker's mark on it or anything mm. like that. It's just a, a fairly. It it's simple. It's a simple uh silver ring with like stamping across the band, but it's you know it's it's, it's well made enough. Like it's not gonna win fucking awards, but mm. it would. Like, it's a good ring. It's good craftsmanship. Especially, I assume, if you don't specialize. Yeah, well, it's... Uh, it does the job. I don't make rings very often, so... Now, tuck it back under my shirt. Realizing that I probably said a bit too much. <laughs> and I will, um... I'll put the ring just back in the middle of the, the other ring. Like, just back in the middle of the table. At this like point, uh, the barkeep will approach the table. I don't mean to intrude, Pits, but, um, are you intending to stay another night? What, yeah. what time is it in the day getting towards? Is it pretty it's like, like evening. evening time at this point? Evening. It's like evening. 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 Everyone is on their. Oh, uh, yeah, well, probably. Yes. Probably will be. Right. I um, well, in that case, uh, you only paid for one, so I'd like to. Uh, you know, of you can keep the keys, of course, and just use the rooms that you used last night, but uh, I would like to. Uh, um, Make What's sure going that right we, again? Uh, pay that off. What was that? That was the going rate right again for the room. That's a good fucking question. Um, it's six gold because I got a gold back because we. Yeah, it was a gold per person, but that was with food like and everything. That as was well. with food yeah. and bath. Yeah, that was like and bedboard and, and drinks and, baths, and everything. Yeah, yeah we'll probably just be wanting. But then we're probably gonna do the same again. No, we <laughs> don't need baths. Well, then. Oh. well if uh, the same without the bathing, uh, it'll come down to about. Um, Including food and drinks, probably like three gold. I will pay three gold. Yeah, I'll pay three gold. Right, thank you very much. I was uh, daggers at Kess until she leaves. That'll be good. <laughs> thank you. And uh, yeah, she goes back to the bar. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'm just going to send to Tigan. Like, can you come with me for a little bit? I'll just nod. Okay. I'll we'll go up to the room I assume we're sharing. Yep. <sighs> okay. Um so how do I stop this? All right. Brooks told me you were actually upset about the vessel thing. Um and I'm glad you did, because I wouldn't have noticed. Um because when you told me that I was the only friend you'd ever had, the same was true for me, and I never told you that. Um, I don't know how to do this. And, well, the thing with the vessel was kind of complicated to begin with. It, like... It, the kind of magic I have is not common to my people at home. So I was always hiding it and making sure no one noticed and keeping it secret. And and then I I left and I don't know, I suppose it was just habit. Uh, I didn't really know whether it would still have the same kind of rules in the rest of the world as far as magic is concerned. Um, and I didn't think we would stay together as long as we did, because why would anyone want to do that? 
with me. So I lied. Um, I, I go in the vessel at night because I'm too used to the things that hide in the dark and I don't like not being in control of that. So I lied to you for the first few weeks and then it felt awkward to tell you the truth after that. Like, I lose you because it's an inherently selfish thing to do. If I was disappearing, I can still hear as if I was in the same space uh, the vessel is occupying, but it still takes me a heartbeat more to get out of there and help you if someone attacked us in our sleep. I was actively putting you in danger and I didn't want to tell you that because I figured you'd run like you should. And then we met the others and uh, Alasrin caught me when he was on watch one night. Um, Davian tried to wake me up and talk to me about Kasuth and I was in the vessel and that's how he found out. I kind of threatened them both to not tell you. Mostly just because I was afraid. The only one I did tell before you was Brooks and that's because he had told me a secret and well to my people it's customary to exchange a secret for a secret. He obviously told me that I was being an idiot and that I should tell you as soon as I could and uh, I ignored him and now he will let me live it down so if that's, that's any consolation. There it is. A long, long pause. Lots of thinking going on. And <clears throat> first thing Dagon says, obviously I'll sign language because I have to. Um, first of all, only person who can put me in danger is myself. So you can forget about that. That's dumb. Second of all, I get it. Kind of on paper, but it doesn't hold up. So first it was, you didn't want to tell me because we, you don't know how long we'll be traveling together. Fair. But then when it became evident, this was going to be a more long-term thing was when you claimed you wanted or saw fit, maybe considering telling me, but then even with a secret for a secret thing, Brooks, you knew for literally less than two weeks and that was still a small enough secret worthy of this, or a big enough secret, so worthy of a trade, when before it would have taken weeks to tell, like, more than that to tell me. So it just doesn't really make sense. It's easier to tell someone a secret in exchange for a secret if you don't know them very well. Because what does it matter if they judge you for it? I mean, I guess, but I also guess. the whole, the whole excuse of, oh, I, I'm bad at this because I've only had one friend. Again, I, I get it and I understand, but I also don't. And I know that doesn't make any sense, but I mean, when you think about it, you're talking to the only person who would understand as I was literally attempted to be murdered because I was different because I had no, not a single person where I grew up, including my parents, felt comfortable expressing any outward sign of affection or friendship for me because of what I was. And you knew that, and you knew the only friend I'd had other than you was also killed. So I think I very much understand that part. And yet I still innately I was able to trust to some extent I guess, and it's not just because I know you think I'm this very naive, trusting, oh, I'll just trust everyone because I'm so desperate person. I mean, I have secrets. You don't think, maybe I do. You don't know. 
uh, looks a little bit awkward. But I like I don't face. think I don't think you're naive. I think I am selfish to an extreme. And Brooks told me once um, when I apologized for stealing his book that uh, he had lost, well, any trust he had, that was growing between us was gone. And I told him that I had no idea what that is like because I don't know what it is like to trust someone. It's not something I've done before. Blue perhaps is the closest, but even then, I don't, I don't trust him. But well, then I hate to break it to you, but you don't have friends because that's part of the definition. It just, it's just kind of is what it is. Part of friendship is trusting and clearly you do because you there are things that you trust in you trust where your power comes from you trust your own actions when you make a choice you're one of the most decisive people i've ever met when you make a choice and you're like yeah i'm good now this is where i'm going this is what i'm doing so you clearly have trust in yourself and your guiding compass and you have trust in me to some extent because we you trusted that we could protect each other so you do know how. You know how to do that. I need to remember that you know how to do that and just learn how to do it in more situations. I don't know. I think... Perhaps you're right. Perhaps I do know how to trust, but only in myself. And... Trusting other people is unfamiliar. And I'm not even sure how to get over that. It's like the weirdest leap of faith. Um, well, I wouldn't advise the way I got over it because it was pretty dull. Because, again, I have been in that place before when I first left after I was hung. I didn't really trust anyone. I decided I was going to just live on my own, either in the wilds, travel the world, because who needs people? Because all people do is hurt and betray. But you, that gets lonely very fast. And as much as you don't want or think you need the company of others, sad truth of life is you do. There isn't, from, from animals to people, it's just a fact. Even things that call themselves loners leave eventually, so. I got over it when I realized I had no choice and that a lonely life was pretty shit. And you've just been lucky enough, I don't think you've been pushed to that. To ever really, because you've always had, at the very least, it seems like you've always had blue. There's always been someone or something mm. that would talk to you, accept you, let alone accept you just to talk to you. Like, do you know? Do you know how many rocks I talked to for months? It got bad. Did I ever tell you the how I met Blue? Really nice. Did I ever tell you how I met Blue? No. I have um, I have a list of all the things you've ever told me, actually, and I like toss her the journal that has the the page on Kess. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um. Well. I was taught outside of the rest of my peers. Other people my age were taught in a group setting. I was always taught by myself. Um, and I'd been watching their lesson from a tree. And um, well, they went off to go play with each other. I was really small, maybe like six or seven. I saw a rabbit and thought that perhaps I could play with the rabbit like they were playing with the other children. So I chased after it. Um, to cut a long story short, that rabbit was more dangerous than it first appeared and tried to eat me. Blue saved me. 
Um, and that's how I met with. It's a very weird sounding rabbit. It was a really terrifying rabbit. But I never had that situation of having a friend and then losing and then turning to loneliness. I was always alone. And then suddenly I wasn't. And I'm struggling with that. Well, I appreciate the apology. I'm sorry. And you know, in, in future or situations like this, the Brooks journal thing, if you're like, hey, I want to do a thing, and I don't know how people would react to that. Again, I'm not the biggest social expert, but I seem to be slightly more well-versed, and we can literally talk in a way that they don't understand. So you this can always true. ask first before you do things. That's true. I'll say, if you like, and just to show that I fully accept the apology, and since your whole custom is secrets for a secret, would you like one? Absolutely. And I want everybody else to deafen, bitches! Yay. Don't use a little bit. <laughs> It'll, It'll be quick, though. It'll be quick. Not you, Mr. DM. <laughs> um, so, the secret, um, uh, and still in sign language, I say, I don't think I can't talk. I realize that's a double negative. But I definitely couldn't for a few months. I tried and only croaking or silence would come out and hurt pretty bad, so I just didn't. But there have been a few instances somewhat recently or later down the road where occasionally sometimes it's like waking up from a nightmare and I can hear myself making noises I think I could if I tried. I'm just afraid to because both of the pain, what it would sound like, what that means, the images that come up, what what I would how I'd react hearing what I would even sound like, I don't know. That's but it might it might partially be by choice. This this whole mute thing. That doesn't make it any less significant. I know. I'm just... It's a secret. I haven't told... I, I let everyone else believe that I can't. That I'm physically incapable. And I technically, that's a lie. Maybe. I have to say, making things up and letting other people believe them about the reason you can't talk is one of the most fun things I enjoy doing. <laughs> it is fun. It is it's fun really to change fun. the story every time. Like you swallow new, a sword and, and cut your vocal cords. That's that's one of the better ones we've done. That one, Defi it, that definitely one really better good. than just the like oh I, I drank some some yeah. some bad ale. That one that one was shit. That, that one was, one was terrible. Excuse. No, yeah, no. Drink I don't think bleach. I think that I think that person <laughs> <laughs> I think that person still doesn't drink ale. That part's pretty funny. Yeah, at least at least we got that out of it. Permanently ruined ale. I have an idea. Person. Yeah. How long do you think we can make the rest of the group think that I'm still really bad at you? Probably forever. And let's, well, I don't want to make- that's too long. That'll get very tiring. But let's see if until we get back to Eldalon, we can just make it seem like this went really terribly. It and like, you're really, mad at me, really I'm mad badly. at you, and we'll, we'll just fucking hate each other. Absolutely. I am absolutely on board with this. You both hear, Down. like, a, a voice first in the back one, of your head. First one to break it, like, whoever fucks it up, whoever loses, like, whichever one tips the group off that we're friends again, well, not, we were friends, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Pays, the, pays the other a gold. Absolutely. Hang yeah, on. You, you hear a voice in the back of both of your heads, just like, I'll be the judge. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Alright, in that case, should we go back downstairs? Hmm. I'm going to open the door and then slam it shut really hard. Yeah, everybody me. can undeafen now. Yeah. <laughs> undeafen fans. 
I saw Laura thumbs up and I was like, I don't want to, just in case it was like a thumbs up. But yeah, I mean, Mr. Kessler, right now. Duke, oh, Adabin. sure, Duke. Oh, it's fine. We don't need Duke. Duke, it, Duke, it, Duke is distracted. <laughs> what did you do? I Nothing. He's good. What He's did you do, Quibba? The hentai. Or good. We're, def we're definitely not playing Battleship. <laughs> also, we're All right. <laughs> what is that what this has come to now? You're playing Battleship while deafened? Fuck you! Oh, look at fucking anything else, am I? I'm sorry, I'm watching the facial expression, trying to figure out whether I'm trying to read lips. As you kind of sit down at the table, you just hear like of a slamming door upstairs, and shortly after, Kess just comes down the stairs. She's like, not looking too happy. Does anyone have any drinks yet? Yeah. I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna drink it all in one. And then slam oh. it down. Can you? Oh, well, that wasn't my drink, actually. But can I would like another? Mm, the bar's over there. Oh, is it? <laughs> so you know you are there. Mm. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> Your point being. And then I'm gonna come back down a few minutes friend. later. And just if I had hair, it would be like the bristly, like where like oh, cat's hair just sticks sake. up. And and like if I have resting bitch face normally, now it's like intentional. And I just like come to the table and sit as far from Cass as I can get, like off the and just like the lean back and like feet up and just arms crossed. Fox. Fox sake. So uh it all went well then. Dagen, do you want to go for a walk? Let's go for a walk. That'll be a good idea. Alright. I'll just nod. I just can't Let's say go that. for a walk. That's going to be a very one-sided conversation. <laughs> just like, glare, I guess. I, I assume, have you got your notepad? Your book? I, I roll my eyes and go back up to the rooms. I left it up there. <laughs> <I'll get> it. <laughs> and then I come back. She just needs like a chalkboard. <laughs> I'm sorry, I like didn't that, mean... Like the episode of Buffy with the Hush yeah. episode, we have whiteboards around their neck and they just... <laughs> uh, uh... Okay. okay. Let's, so, uh... I, 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 I'm assuming that didn't go well then. Mm -mm. No. It wasn't my fault this time either. I swear. Uh, I find that it was a hard to believe. I yeah, say, of course you think do. previous evidence it would suggest probably had something to do with it. You would think that. What happened? Barkeep. <laughs> yes? Can we get another round, please? You, you sound like you need a double. If not for me, for her. Hey, coming up. I'm drinking non-alcoholic. Just let you guys know. <laughs> yeah, just drinking like... Some water. <laughs> Some water. Cider. Sparkling apple juice out of a wine glass. Yeah. 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 Oh, no, did you ask? You feel like one what? of the kids. Fuck off, Daddy. Stop <laughs> <laughs> making it known that I'm not getting fucking lily titty, all right? Fucking hell. So, what what happened? Why is what, why is she so angry? I tried to explain why I didn't tell her, and then she took some really undeserved jabs at me, and uh, it just kind of... What's the phrase? Snowballed? Um, Escalated quickly. Mm. Spiraled out of control. Mm, that, that's a good one. Oh, well, Did you also you... drink her ale? or? <laughs> no, I didn't. She didn't have one. Weird. Or I would have. It would have been fun. I'm so glad we don't have a, you know, a couple of day journey on a cart next to each other. And... <laughs> yeah, it's going to be very awkward. Terrible. Morning. Oh, we'll we just... Put like a divider in the middle of the... <laughs> no, we're not splitting the cart of oh. like, this is Kess's side, this is... <laughs> yeah, they're going to end like... up doing that thing where they're like, oh, I'm not talking to Duggan right now. Please, can you tell her? Yeah. We're, we, you know, they're within three feet of each other. I'm like, mm. Well, that's a good well, idea. Daffy, you might have, no, someone riding up idea. Front. might have someone riding up front with you. Oh, is is there room for me too? No, I don't think I want to beat... <laughs> Kess could ride in the vessel the whole way. Oh, true. No, I couldn't. Oh god, I think Why? that would... No, I couldn't. <laughs> Why? Um, I mean, for one thing, Blue is... Oh, you're in the doghouse. ...mad at me. Blue. Right. And uh, I can only stay in there for four hours. 
She pissed off your your um, blue and Tigan. Who's next? Me. Where's my you? fucking ale? <laughs> <laughs> At this point, uh, Barkeep comes up with uh, a, a round of drinks. Uh, pretty much just like a double dose, like two drinks per person. Just puts them on the table. Everything alright here, Pets? Thank you, Simon. <laughs> um. Yes. Yeah. 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 Hey. Hey. Right. Right. Well, uh, I'll be there if you need anything. I wish I'd stolen Do more I than just that room. Do I need to book out extra rooms just in case, um, you know, some single rooms perhaps? No, it's okay. Right. I, I'll sleep just with someone Just by the way that room. that tabaxi stormed out of the tavern didn't look like, you know... Oh, uh, don't worry about it. It's just yeah, a well, small argument. Right. Mm -hmm. You weren't even there for it, so how would you know? I... Was lying. Oh, okay. To the stranger. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> the stranger that's still right here. Yes, that 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 is the one. I'm very sorry <laughs> I had said like that, but Kess, my friend of here, doesn't is get a social fucking... cues. No. Yes, they're a fucking no, idiot. Not. I've noticed. How dare you? I am not an idiot. I just. I'm very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway, if you need anything else, I'll be uh, I'll be right there. Just stare. Fuck, I just give Kesh just like. Why what? <laughs> what? You surprise me every day. I think it's <laughs> exactly reasonable that we'll have this all figured out before the cart ride. No. And it's I probably going it. to be really uncomfortable if we try and hash it out during the cart ride. Well, hopefully, we'll I mean, be able to cut our travel time in half then, and that would benefit us in more ways than just being where we want to be quicker. Yeah, oh god, it's any no. time that we need I you mean, to cut that time in half. I can check now. I've just got oh, please do. <laughs> All right. Do it. Uh, hold on. How does, I mean, how does if you're work? asking me, I think this could last for months because, frankly, I don't want to talk to her until well, the next solstice. Uh, then don't. Um, hold until on. what? The next solstice. Is that how you do things? Mm. <laughs> Depends on the solstice okay. that's coming up. You get to the next solstice and that's Didn't it. Didn't have you for a druid. Buried. But... I grew up enough. surrounded Cartographers by Cartographer's map, okay? So here we go. Is that why they call it a circle? Because they were surrounding it. Mm, no. <laughs> Not even circle there. Circle of the guests. <laughs> circle the dumb bitch, more like. Got him! <laughs> uh, yo, I'm gonna have to start homebrewing that now. Wild shape into a fucking <laughs> moron. <laughs> Nice spit take. Thanks. <laughs> Beginning at ninth level, you gain the ability to make everyone you know and love hate you. <laughs> oh, second level. And then forgive okay. you. Neither was no, neither was uh, forgiving me. Jax at this point will kind of just like go through the maps, like in his, in his map case, and he whips out of his uh, bag of holding, takes one out, and slaps it on the table. All right, let's see. Um, if we go past, you remember where we found that? Um, you know that 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 guard booth. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, if the we one that was there and then, uh, 100% trying to kill a you know, Well, yes. If given the chance. Um, right, could you let me finish? Thank you. Sorry. Um, if we cut a little bit, uh, instead of staying, because the road bends, you know, like, along the southern, like along the, almost along the coastline, like parallel to it. If we just go straight and ignore the road, um, we, we, we can cut some time. We'll, we'll, we'll go through some woods, but... Uh, I mean, we should be fine and pretty much cut our journey in half. So from from about three days to a day and a half. God what bless. If the, what if the horses like get their hooves caught in rabbit holes or something and break their leg? We'll tackle that before we get there. Yeah, okay. let's remove your wounds. Hmm, that's true actually. Yeah, can you and, and, and Davian can, can talk to them. To I've, write, already, so. I've already cure cures wound. Cure, I've already used cure wounds on a horse. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's true. When you got burned. Did you did you, did you know you could do that means. before you did that? Huh? What? Did you know you could do that before you actually did it? I mean, I guessed. Mm, okay. And by and by, I knew that I've seen other clerics do it. Oh, okay, so that's fine. They could probably also do it. Mm. Didn't Imagine take a risk. Being a horse cleric, you know, like. <laughs> you mean a vet? Is that what, is that what <laughs> that is? I mean, you yes, go I and study healing magic to be a vet. I mean, I assume a lot of 
druids probably do. I probably don't get too many, or at least clerics of like, you know, the wild mother probably. I didn't Mice know when you do. Could get that, but were you also like? I'm not saying every druid. Hang on, like, <laughs> I think it's probably some. Oh, <laughs> like, Kess, you like druids? Yeah, name every druid. Yeah, like. <laughs> Not every druid knows every druid, not every cleric knows every like it's not how that works. Is that isn't how you that think that works? Sort of, isn't that sort of meddling though? That, that seems like it would be against the druids. It, de it depends, because if it's natural or unnatural, I suppose. If it like they were shot by a hunter and they're trying to save that animal from being unfairly hunted, I'd say no. But if it was like What makes hunting unfair? Well, I mean, you know, like for sport. Ah yeah, I suppose it's a bit fucked. But I still don't know about healing that. Oh. No, if they've dilemma in itself. It's a it's a fabulous grey area of about the morality of a druid's This is a Jack worship of Jack's gonna get up and hit you with the classic Right. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Which and I got the, half past uh, five. It's cool. Speaking of fabulous so grey areas tomorrow, so and I've and I've been tinkering uh George of the day, so I'm going to retire to my to my room. Um oh I guess Brooks we're gonna be bunking together, right? Or are you going to sleep on the roof again? He's not there. Oh, fuck it out for a walk. Oh, I was... Well, I mean, Cy was bunking with Jax, I assume. So there is a spare bed in there. True. No, we got a single room. No, no, no. Yeah, no. True. Oh. Yeah. So... Figure it out. Well, then I'll find out. I'll figure it out when I get home. Exactly. Like Jax will just kind of... I'm going to retire, and I suggest you all, you know, long day of traveling ahead tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And um, Bye. try not to break down the, you know, but if, if, if you're still down here when Diagon comes back, you know, maybe it's smart for you to retire now so that you don't have to, like, you know. It's just, this is like a one risk of conflict that you go out of the way by That's just good point. retiring. Don't you sleep That's in the same excellent. room? Yeah, but I can disappear into my vessel. Right, so that's the whole cause of this. I forgot. Um, yeah, technically, yeah. Castle's in the same room as Doug. Mm, you'll be right. met. Well, actually, no, this isn't the same cause of this. This is a completely separate thing. What so, if she you? were to pick up the vessel with you in it and chuck you out the window? I mean, she could. Would you notice? Jack? Yes, I would notice. Jack, I would just like to say that you're a fucking genius. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever slept in the left eye? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've actually discussed this idea before. That's besides the point. But what I'm trying to say is, you know, to avoid further conflict and burning down a tavern, you know, we already burned down one establishment in this in this town. We don't want to. That wasn't us. Yeah, that wasn't, wasn't us. Yeah. We didn't do it. <clears throat> Where's your proof? Never happened. Wasn't us. We didn't set the fire. We've already influenced <laughs> other people to burn down the establishment in this fire. building. We don't want that to happen a second time. Well, we didn't influence them to do it. I think, you know, they sort of influenced We've themselves. We've already caused enough shit in this town for one, for one stay. Let's try I think you mean we, we saved this town. And we I'll drink to that. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Drink. So, just a piece of advice, you know, just avoid conflict. And maybe tomorrow morning things will be better. Or not. But at least, you know, you'll have a good night's sleep. A fresh, a, a fresh set of eyes. And I'm rambling. I'm going to bed. Bye, Jax. Oh, on that note. Elasrin, about what we talked about earlier, it probably was some yeah. sort of vision or manifestation, or the fucking roof of the tavern would have caught fire real quick. What? Mm -hmm. I spoke to Kosuth on the roof of the tavern with Brooks there, and you know, oh, if, it was, okay. if it was there, then Look the tavern enough. wouldn't be anymore. So, did, did Brooks see him? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Ah, he didn't mention he was... it. Co he was yeah, a little looked... preoccupied with my shit. Surprisingly approachable. Everything else was a bit extreme. There was like a volcano and a lot of fire. But Kosuth himself, you know, other than the fact that he was like made of fire, seemed no, pretty wait. chill. If we got involved in another elemental being, would you, right. would you guys want to know? What? I feel like if it was the water one, we should probably steer clear because there's some big no. beef there apparently. Mm. Not who I was thinking of, but yeah. We think of what, who like would you have in mind? Hang on. <laughs> no one in particular. It's more like hypothetically. 
Right, but when you tend to do hypotheticals, Kess, it tends to be because you've done something and you want us to fix it before you tell us you've done it. Well, anything. it seems like she there is played. infighting among the elemental lords as of late, given the whole sinking Kossuth's throne in water. So maybe we should try and be aware Not of any... Not a water one. No, but like, you know, maybe... Well, maybe Rizmu maybe has... a water beef with the ground one or something you know well, maybe maybe we can find another water one who is amicable overall and like a neutral sort of party to get its favor mm, yeah but then i mean it's a long like, shot there, there, seems, wrong. there seems to be some sort of hierarchy here right i mean maybe but also like with we, air being at the top no I i'm definitely not don't between think that. elemental powers i'm talking oh, okay. within the elemental powers oh within Possibly the yeah, yeah, yeah no, that absolutely of, is yes yeah. Yes, but still, he might have like a right hand man, or you know, an advisor he trusts, friend, mm -hmm. someone who mm -hmm. might be able to help convey our case a bit better, or at least get us an audience with. I'm not sure how I feel about our abilities to sow discordance among I elemental meant... leaders. That's I, 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 I meant. That. I meant more, you know, hill bridges. You know, build them up rather than. Did you say heal bridges? I, I did. <laughs> yeah, is that like work on a bridge? Yeah, is that? It might do. Uh, Maybe are there any can are, are there any candles in like nearby? Do you know? uh, four candles. Yeah. Yeah. Four candles. Like lit candles just around on the table. Is there one on the table? Yeah. I will take the candle from the table and I will oh, just no. turn it upside down and put it in my drink. And as it fizzles out, I'll say, well, Elijah, I'm not sure fire and water mix all that well. No matter how friendly they might be. Isn't that alcohol? Not water? It's weak ale. It's like... Oh, okay. Yeah. It's gonna burn. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can have stuff like oil, though. Is there an ale elemental? <laughs> an ale elemental, if you will? Oh, Imagine if there was. That would be elemental. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh... oh. On I've that never hated note, <laughs> it's nowhere near bedtime. It's nowhere near. <laughs> so I'm just gonna sit here and continue drinking my apple juice. Smoking <laughs> apple juice. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, in the meantime, mm. um, Brooks and Dagon, what's, uh, what's going on? I guess we're not. We're not gonna wander far. I guess just away from the tavern a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I will pull out. Uh, I'll pull out a fucking pre-mixed Stormy Sky that I've got. <laughs> a, uh, I'll pull out the Brandy, why not? I, I don't have any ginger ale, unfortunately, but this will probably be fine for you. It's, you know, it's, it's not too bad. It's, uh, it's ginger beer and rum, so... You liked ginger beer last time, it's just that, but stronger. I just start chugging it. <laughs> I take it that didn't go well, then. Nod, no. Or else I have to narrate everything I do for podcast listeners, since I don't talk. <laughs> true, 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 true. That's an excellent point I have not thought about before. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it one... That her apology was shit, or two, that the apology is irrelevant. She's actually genuinely hurt you, and an apology is not going to make it better. Or three, you just need time to fucking chill out over it. <sighs> Sorry. Because she's a hold up idiot. six fingers, because three plus two plus one is six. <laughs> okay, so 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 all of it. Okay. Um, she's a fucking fool, but. She does actually give a shit about you, and I know that she's just, she's just a fucking fool. But, you know, that's fine. You're not, she's not the only person in the group, and I don't, if anything, it's, you know, a good chance to actually get to know everyone else instead of being at her fucking coattails the entire time. Oh, uh, not in agreement. But... Yeah, you, like, okay, like. Just do, do this, the A-OK -okay hand gesture. Okay, um, 
Yeah, I mean, shit, fucking people are difficult, but you just seemed really upset, so I thought I would make sure that you were okay. I'll take out the journal again and open up the cast page and point to the last paragraph. And Ooh. so what you would see, um, Brooks, is I don't know why she never felt like she could tell me about her vessel. What a weird secret to keep from your constant companion of a year and a half. Where you sleep that night. Did you think I was going to turn on her and kill her in her sleep or something? I would get that the first few months of traveling together. We were still essentially strangers thrown together by convenience. I'm aware of how my appearance is perceived by others. I'm not exactly cuddly looking or inviting. But a whole year and a half, she chose to keep it from me. Then we meet some random characters who go from suave and perceptive one minute to bumbling idiots the next. And she told them. Not all of them, but at least one of them knew before me. Kess knew she was my best friend, and I guess that's not hard when she's also my only friend. I didn't even expect to be hers back. I would have settled for just friend, but I always thought friendship eventually brought trust. Apparently not for her. Since Brooks earned that trust in weeks, but I still can't tell if they're even friends. Regardless, I know where I stand now. I just wish it changed anything. Oh, that's last fucking... Paragraph. That's a lot to go over, okay. Um, <laughs> let me pull up the word anvil so I can read this as I go. Yeah, but that's what you read. And I can I can set if you want me to send that to you in Discord so you have it for reference. Yeah, if, if well. you've got it on you right now instead yep. of pulling up the <clears throat> Um I mean you're not wrong, it is a, a bit of a weird secret, but Kess is a fucking weird person. And you know, we all have our weird secrets. Look at fucking look at Elazarin and the fucking tattoo thing is that not the sort of thing that you'd want to say early on so we could make sure he doesn't get stabbed but you know whatever uh i don't think that i don't think that she doesn't trust you in terms of she doesn't expect you to turn her i think she's just i don't fucking know i, th I think she's just really really bad at understanding what trust is and how that works within a friendship uh, I'm going to ignore the fact that you've essentially called me a bumbling idiot. Because I assume this was rather... I, 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 I point back to the part where it says suave and perceptive one minute. And then like, oh, that's my fine. shoulders so, and do like, so a balancing... I'm like... only sometimes a bumbling idiot. And I'm, <laughs> you know, that's fine, whatever. So you admit that I'm suave then? Perfect. I wouldn't say that you're not inviting looking. Like... I think you give yourself a lot of shit for that, but I've never at any point gone, oh god, she's fucking terrifying. I'll I'll write Davian did on the first day we met. I believe the first reaction was, oh, scary cat! <laughs> or something to that effect. <laughs> and the scary oh, cat is... The, 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 <laughs> yeah, the, the fuck, there's giant cat is written in all caps to get mm -hmm. across the yelling part, because it's being written, not spoken. <laughs> that's, that's fair, but... To be fair, I don't think that has anything to do with your appearance other than the fact that you are a tabaxi. Uh, there's, like, I'm not going to sit there and try and convince you that what Kess did is right, because it's not. She's a fucking moron, and she shouldn't have done it. You know, I am I fully agree with you on that one. I just, I don't know. She's trying her best, and she's a bit fucking, I, I think, out of her depth in terms of with friends, but... As for Ermi and Kess friends, I'm not really sure of that either. I think so. I just write, I'll answer it for you. She doesn't have friends. She doesn't know the meaning of the word. <clears throat> well, that's a bit depressing for both of us, given that we spend more time with her than anyone else. I think I just got stabbed in the chest. <laughs> I felt that one. Jesus. At least it wasn't in the spine. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look, I. It's just a rib dislocating. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Fuck. I I get that this is shitty and it's a shitty situation all around, and I know that I am not necessarily the best influence at times. But you know, if you want to talk shit with someone, then just come and find me. I was saying, I believe in that case it would be writing shit. Uh, you're not wrong in terms of semantics, but, you know, 
it's still... Okay, actually, while we're out here, just fucking basics. How do you sign yes? I just oh, no, nod you, my you head nod, and look nod, like <laughs> look at him like um. And you nod no. Uh, uh, hello. <laughs> uh, uh, how would you sign drink? I'm drinking. <laughs> you don't have to actually do these, but Bruce wants to learn like. Someone Someone might might know. Know. I, I, I want to know. know. Well, here, here, here's some actual sign language for you in real life. If you'd like, I'm, I'm pretty sure no one come for me in the comments if this is wrong. I'm pretty sure. Thank you. And sign it was just like this. Yeah. Yeah. It's like this gesture. So I know like, British sign language. Which looks like a swear to me. I know, but in, in ASL, I think it's like from under, like the chin yeah. forward. And British, it is, yeah. You touch your chin, but it's like it's close enough. Yeah. It's the only British sign language. Yes. Know and then no is like. <laughs> no, is it literally? No, I don't know. Yeah. It's it's one of the two, yes. I so, will I'll before we go back in, I will ask Dagon to teach me uh just like drink, food, sleep, thank you. Fucking healing. <laughs> healing. Yeah. I need healing. Oh, I lied. So no, it's you do the thank you is like on the chin or near your lips because from your lips. The under the chin is a swear word. Duke is right. Under the chin's fuck off. So never mind. <laughs> Reverse that. <laughs> that could have been real awkward. <laughs> they really yeah. made thank you and fuck <laughs> off like super close. It's, right? It's Why funny. are they so similar? <laughs> I mean, fuck off is just the way of saying like, what's thank the, you, what's go me? away. Thank you, fuck off. <laughs> you could literally go. <clears throat> Yeah, fuck Apparently this is no. Thank you, fuck off. <laughs> no idea. Something like that. Um, okay. Right. Yeah, that's... Oh like, I'm fucking... Brooks isn't going to be able to learn fucking sign language in a night, but if I can learn five words, Mr. DM, is that okay? Uh, if they're basic, sure. If they're like, we just want like one move, like gestures, then yeah, sure. I mean, yes, no food, drink, healing. Prima. Sure, man. Um... With that, you guys return, and shall we say that everyone retires to their rooms for the night? Yes. Uh, yes. And then Who's going we're, where? We're uh, go I'm. Take a break as well, I think. No, no, no. Yes. Um, Guess goes um, in the vessel, and I just yeah, I'm going hang, in the it on up, hang it on when... the inside of my door. Guess is going in the vessel? I'm going in the vessel. <laughs> so, we'll deal with that when we come we'll back to We'll deal with that later. <laughs> we'll just put this one away for later. Just so, uh, it for just for the sake of rooms, who goes where? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll go in whatever room will have an opening. Okay, if that's I'll, the one I'll I'll say share to, with Pess or if that's anywhere else. I'll um, say to Dagon when we're outside, like, how angry are you? Do you want to stay in the room with Jax instead of with Cass? Or? I'll just write on the paper, doesn't matter to me, I'm a big girl, I can deal. It is just sleep after all. And they oh. won't be in the same dimensional anyway. plane. So really no, they're not in the same plane. So. Only for half of the long rest. <laughs> Only four hours. Yeah, 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 but Kess only needs four hours rest, right? And then she just did. And then she can leave the route. Mm -hmm. or, or stab Diagon in her sleep. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's yeah. what Brooks is worried about. Like, <laughs> right. stab Diagon? Yeah. No, Wait, he, doesn't think, ever he doesn't think you'll stab Diagon, but he thinks you might do something stupid oh. without realizing or meaning to. Or like so, steal yeah, a book. fuck it. I'll, I'll stay in fucking Dagon's room. <laughs> and Dagon can stay with Jax. I mean, you'll stay in Kess's room and then I'll, stay, I'll stay, I'll stay in Kess's okay, room yeah. where Dagon will stay. If I am going to stay in Jax's room, I also want to. I wonder. I, mm, I, I want to try and wake up before him and get something out of the bag of holding. Okay. Okay. Yo, could we do that after the break, though? Smiley, yeah, we, we can. We can. We can. I, I just we can. For bad can. smile, please. Thank you. Yeah, we're gonna take a break here first. We'll be back in uh, a few uh, to finish up the sesh. We are back, everybody. <laughs> oh, it's the fourth now. It's the fourth now. We just slept. Yeah, it's the fourth. Everybody. Hello. Yeah. A lot of what? The fourth of Ausim. A U S I M. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Alright. So. Um, if there's something. anything to deal with blue first, then Bell should go first. I need to quickly check something. Just give me, give me a quick second. I need to look at. You're all dead. Bang. We're all dead. 
Yeah, I didn't know there's a world world ending event was happening up this oh, day. Well, and you know. He's been leaving trails for this whole time, but we've just never yeah. following them. Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. The, the fourth is the day that Jax dies of old age. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, so, so finally. Um, okay. You all re re retreat to your rooms. Um, yes. Jax uh, is still awake when, when Daigon enters, and he'll just kind of. Rough night. Just nod. Do you want to... Well, not talk about it, but you know what I mean. Um... I'll just nod no, and then scribble in the journal a quick Thanks for letting me be your assistant, by the way. I find it quite enjoyable to have someone, uh, that, you know, that that's willing to learn and... You know, and, well... <laughs> Don't take this the wrong way, but I, I like to work in peace and quiet, and having you around doesn't disturb that because of obvious reasons. But um, yeah, can see I, why you picked Dagon over Kess, though, for example. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've, you know, if there's ever anything, you know, maybe you want to make something or anything that you'd, you'd like to learn, and, you know, I'd be, I'd be, you know, keep it up, and maybe I'll be able to teach you a trick or two. I'm, I'm just right. I don't really, I don't really need things. Again, writing like accessories or anything that could get in the way or throw off my aerodynamics or anything that would make me clanky or jingly when I move. Not really a mm -hmm. fan. Be cool if maybe I could make my spear fancy someday, because I'm pretty attached to it. Because as you know, like it's yeah. just a basic spear. Obviously, in terms of duty, but it's carved like it's actual. Just aesthetic is very, very cool, as is in the art. So I yes, yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's <laughs> something that uh, we could we could look at down the line. Um, you know, once I pick up some more supplies, and uh, you know, it's, I'm sure we're not going to be going to be parting ways anytime soon. So I'm sure we'll have time for that at some point. I'll I'll also write on the journal first, and if you ever, it's not a lot, but if you ever needed it to maybe make one more fancy thing. I ha I did take this and I hold up a the the piece of the dragon eggshell that I got from the ones that we smashed in the thing. Obviously, it's not a piece of the egg that he had. Mm -hmm. I'd oh. say I don't know how much you need. Um, well, I mean, I'm sure it's I'm sure I, okay, it's useful at some point. Uh, yes, yeah, so if, if you don't mind, and uh, he'll he'll take it from you and. Oh, no, I want to keep it until you need it, oh, but oh, I'm, I'm just saying I, I have I it. I, I misunderstood. Um, yeah, of course, <laughs> if you'd want to, you know, keep that uh, around, uh, perhaps one day I'll think of a way to use it. And if anything, I have this, it's, too, it's a, it's a and I cool hold souvenir. up the crocodile tooth from those crocodiles we killed, too. Oh, yes. I then just start Good. making a pile of the random things in my bag. On the so there's oh, the crocodile sure. tooth, Everything then there's an eggshell, then there's my meerkat plushie, <laughs> and then I'm, I'm just sure like plushy, putting but, random um, objects. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> part of the, the way, I, how, it, how I improve things and how I uh, learn new, how do I say this? Learn new, new, new techniques and new ideas for, um, Crafting uh, equipment completely depends on you know the, the the stuff we scavenge from the creatures like crocodiles or dragons or anything. So um, yes, uh, anything we we scavenge off of the foes we beat, I'll probably be able to use it at some point. All right, well, and um, then get ready for bed. Have a good night. I have my plushie out. We'll, uh, we'll we'll talk tomorrow morning. Like be holding my um, cool. So y'all get some sleep. You said you wanted to wake up before Jax. Yeah, and okay. we'll uh, we'll get to that after. I'm yeah. assuming Kess wants to have a little one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bruce <laughs> move. All right, uh, everyone else, please deafen for a bit. Should I uh... pay attention? All right. What do you do? Um. She's gonna like sit on her bed with her like legs crossed and just kind of stare into her lap and then just call out and be like, um, hey Blue, I know you're still really mad and you should be, um, but um, I just wanted you to know that the situation with the egg is fixed. 
it's gone now. It's been destroyed. Um, and I'm I'm really sorry I even brought it here. It was a last ditch effort, and the fact it crossed my mind is ridiculous in and of itself. So if you're not in the vessel? You're just like no, she is bed? in the vessel. Oh, she yeah, is in the vessel? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, there's a bed in her vessel. I forgot. That. <laughs> yeah, okay, just make sure. Uh, at that point, Blue will just kind of appear in front of you, arms crossed. Not angry or anything. I'm just a little. See, I knew you were a little clueless when it comes to social cues and whatnot, but I figured that this would be a pretty obvious no no. You would be surprised. Hmm. If it helps, I kind of got instant karma. So now my dad wants to talk to me. Sorry? Yep. Uh, my dad sent someone to find me and gave me something to contact him with. Use only once type scenario. Are you going to? I don't know. Why not? I mean, why now? been over a century. I leave just for me. It could have been even longer for him. He wasn't stuck in the Feywild. Well, one thing that goes for all of us, you know, genies, is that, um, we are peculiar mm. when it comes to, you know, we don't really like to, you know, we, we like to let the wind carry us wherever, right? And Obviously, you know, the idea of relations and all that sort of thing doesn't really appeal to us. We're more of like a, you know, fun, have a fun night, you know, bump ugly, move on kind of thing. Um, mm. But, you know, say I were to learn that I have kids running around fighting evil, I'd probably get a little concerned, right? Mm. Yeah, but why did he need to come through someone else he turned someone else into a ganasi just so they could find me and give me i'm sure he didn't bottle. turn him into a ganasi just to find but, you yeah i know but you know what i mean um well you know i'm, I'm i think it's more of a case of you save someone's life much like i saved yours mm, me, that's true right and in exchange Multiple times. in exchange you know I've given you some some handy dandy new powers, and when the time comes, if I need your assistance for something, I hope that you'd understand that. I don't want to say you owe me anything, but I totally owe you. <laughs> you can't do. Um, I do. <laughs> so you know, he saved the guy's life, gave him a second chance at life, and in exchange was like, if you ever see. You know, or I had I heard word of my potential daughter running around fighting scary creatures. If you happen to find them, you know, let her know that Dad would like to talk at some point, mm. right? Yeah. You know, that's 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 the favor that this guy owed your dad, I guess. And there you go. I mean, does the name Dashu mean anything to you? Dashu, Dashu. Um. Can't say it does. Interesting. The thought thickens. Unless. Un no. Unless. What? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Mm, okay. Mm hmm. I don't know what I'm going to do about it. Also, it only works once. Well, no strings attached then, I guess, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't so know whether he... that's more insulting. Well, I'm sure that if the talk goes well, he'll manage, you know, to find some other way to stay in touch with you, but... True. 
That is, um, you know, if you were to want to talk to him in the first place, I suppose. Well, what harm could it do? I mean, that's true. Besides, make me extremely annoyed. You can see him, like, think long and... I've never really told you much about me, did I? No. We've worked on a... You know, you ask questions, I deliver answers kind of pace. But um, given the situation that you're in, I just lied to you. Mm, really? Yes. That name does ring a bell to me. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be honest here, and... Uh, there's a reason I took you in, saved your life. Was there mm -hmm. that fateful day when you were in trouble and needed a rescuer? That wasn't all coincidence. I'm sure you didn't think it was, right? No. Dashu is my son. No, oh, so... no. <laughs> You know, you're technically my granddaughter, I no, suppose. Oh, no. Yeah. Been struggling with that so, for a little while because I wanted to tell you, but I didn't know how to because I know bonds like this scare you and I didn't want to make you uncomfortable. Uh, but... mm, mm. Mm, I mean. I just didn't know how to tell you, and I, you know, it's very similar to your situation with, with Daigon. Once you start lying, yeah. it's easier to keep the lie up than it is, you know, but given the situation that you're in right now, I, I, I kind of feel bad for just... <clears throat> See, much like your dad, I don't do this whole relationship thing no, very well either. No, I, you know? mm, I, I guess it's genetic. Um, I suppose mm. so. Well, not necessarily genetic, more of like a... It's, it's like a racial thing, you know? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. But, um, yeah, I'm your granddad. No, no, don't say that. Don't put it like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's that's weird. It's weird. Hmm. Ah, that's weird. Yeah. I mean, it's fine, but it's weird. Yeah. It is. I mean,. At least now you know that you know, dear old granddad true. was a was a war hero. That's pretty cool, right? That's true. Right? That that is pretty cool. No, no. <laughs> oh. So what what was he doing? Was he just like did he not exist during that whole thing with the no, dragons? No, 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 no. I'm I'm old. <laughs> I'm <laughs> very old. Um. He uh. He happened. Way later. No. Ah, okay. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. What I can tell you, I haven't spoke to him myself in pff, centuries. Oh, as long as it's not just me, then. No. Um. He came to be similar how you came to be. You know, one night fling, I moved on, mm -hmm. and uh, that's, that's that. The difference is that the fling that I had was with another Ginny. Yeah. Right? So, you know, they we both knew what we were getting into because naturally we both weren't really the relationship material kind of kind of people. Whereas obviously, you know, your 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 mother probably had different ideas. Um Yeah, she did kind of never got over it. <laughs> yeah. But um Dashu is um his heart's in the right place. He's not a bad person, it's just he's a genie, he's you know. Mm. They're all a little odd. Different. Mm. What I can say is that um, if he's trying to reach out to you, um, it takes a lot for a genie to, you know, show concern for their offspring because like i said we we take whatever the world gives us we go with the flow whatever happens happens mm -hmm. so for him to hear about your recent escapades of the last year and a half or so and show concern that means something true mm -hmm. 
Mm, this was an unexpected turn of events. I'm sorry. I just didn't really, you know, with the whole lion thing, I felt like this was... I would set a no, bad example fine. if I were keep up the lie at this point, you know? No, it's fine. I understand. I mean, there's a reason I never asked you about my dad. I would have if I wanted to know anything. Well, I wouldn't be able to tell you much, to be honest. He was, he was cute, cute, as, cute as a kid, and... You know, I trained him. And he, he when reached the appropriate age, he went on his merry way. Hmm. Interesting. So, okay. <clears throat> hmm. Well, this definitely feels like it's the karma. World's funny in that way. Hmm. All right. Well, don't things we can take away from this conversation. I, I don't have to lie to you about any more about who I am to you. That's nice. No. Um, and I will. Next not... time you find a dragon egg. I won't bring it here. Not in my house, thank you. And we'll destroy it immediately. Please. Absolutely. Thank you. We're cool. Yeah. As long as you are. Of course. What would that be? Look at me. True. Okay. Does it we we have never really hugged or anything, but I kinda have no. this urge to Yeah, okay. Is that, is that all right? Uh, he goes in to hug you and kind of like pats your head. That's enough of this. Uh, <clears throat> right, anything mm. else? No, no, that's it. All right, mm. well, uh, if you need anything, you know how to find me. Have a good night. Yeah, night. Okay. <clears throat> what the fuck happened? <laughs> Just Backstory. like that, look up and Bell's like, <laughs> yeah. oh, Will you finally come out and be like, look, yeah. you're a selfish bitch. <laughs> <laughs> if, only, if, only it, if only it were that easy. Uh, it's going to be just straight up like, <laughs> this day, 400 years ago, I went to the shops. It was quite good. It was like, fucking Christ, old man. Fucking <laughs> oh, yeah, fucking chop this sweet. onion for me. Thanks. That's why there were tears. Yeah. Mm. He cooked him up a nice goulash. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then sent her to the gulag. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Did you just go to bed now, uh, uh, Cass? Like, that's, yeah, uh... yeah. She just kind of like sleeps in the vessel. Okay. All right. Um, Diagon. Yeah. You wanted Smells. to wake up before Jax did, so I yeah. right to do that. Um, what yeah. is it that you do? I just want to. If the bag of holding satchel is out and visible, well, unless I doubt he's belongings, like as I doubt he's sleeping with it, like yeah, you know, no. curled up. But um, I just want to, because the way it works is like you think about the objects you want and reach in there, and if it's in there, Correct. so I want to reach in and think about the dragon egg, and I'm okay. just triple checking, and only because I'm in this room, like I wouldn't have gone out of my way to do this because I did believe him. I rolled that insight, but I'm here, mm -hmm. and I'm like, you know what? Can't be too safe. Sure. I can't be too cautious. Sure. So I, I do trust that. anyone. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> I've been burned, okay? Uh, no, that's fine, yeah. Uh, you think of a dragon egg? Or you think of that, no, that particular specific dragon one. egg? Yes. Uh, and uh, nothing. Alright. What can think of dragon eggs in general? And just one, more time, one. one more time, I reach in this time and think of a baby red dragon. Because maybe he separated oh, it from the egg uh, and it's in there. No. <laughs> okay. If it were, it'd be very okay. dead. <laughs> just, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it could live in there for a certain amount of time. No, yeah, ten not. minutes. Uh, no, there's no baby dragon. <laughs> okay. Now, the, while you're then, there, check for some worthers. <laughs> just, just checks for baby dragon goop. Just All like right. maybe it's dead. In that case, I'll just go to. I'll go back. Uh, I'll go back to. Actually, I'll just go downstairs and get some like. I'll, I'll I'll get some like tea, a, a pot of tea for the table, and and right. some cups, and just be waiting for people. And I just have warm milk. Okay. Uh, yeah, Jax will eventually also wake up and notice that you're gone, and he's first going to change his armor from the guardian form to the infiltrator form, um, which is basically the one that makes uh, it's a little less bulky since you guys are traveling. Um, yeah, it's going to join you downstairs, which I'm assuming everybody eventually trickles down. Yes. Yep. And uh, if, when well, everyone's... Is Kess there? Yeah, Kess is sat on the edge of the bed, just kind of like watching you with her head tilted. Ew. <laughs> Not creepy. Edge of your fucking terrifying bed. at all. 
<laughs> you are not Daigon. No, she's, believe it or not, pretty fucking upset with you, so... No, I get it. I don't, I don't think you two would harm each other, but I think you would say something stupid, so I thought it'd best to give her some time to cool off. Fine, I was in an entirely different dimension. Yeah, for, until you're not. Well, yeah, that's how being in a different dimension works. You're there until you're not. Yeah, but I wouldn't put it past you <laughs> to say something fucking stupid anyway, so... What, when I came out and just be like, haha, Dagon... Good morning, I don't trust you. I don't know, it's you. You're... I don't trust anyone. <laughs> Respectfully, <laughs> when it comes to people, you're a fucking moron. You know, you're not the only person to have said this, and I just realised that it's actually a family trait, so I'm less upset about it now. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Slow the card down. What do you mean you found out it was a family trait? Um... That's kind of complicated. We've got time for breakfast. Mm, uh, do we? Yes. I don't think we do. This is a really yeah. long story. You can either tell me now, or I'll, we'll wait until we go downstairs and I'll ask you in front of everyone. Turns out Blue's my grandfather. Blue's your fucking grandfather? Okay. Mm. Sure. Yeah. In terms of how fucked up this entire thing is so far, that's, you know, not that bad. No. Mm -hmm. It's weird. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Your sort of childhood friend is it's my granddad. Grandfather. Mm. You never actually bothered to ask the name of. Listen, okay. You're making it weirder. And I don't To be like honest, it. in the last couple of days this isn't even the weirdest fucking thing that I've had to deal with, so it's up there for me. <laughs> it's up there. I, I mean, getting told about someone's granddad. I... Mm. Yeah. Davian did a thing with his jams, and that was <laughs> <fucking trick. laughs> he, 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 he put them together. I, I, he put them together, and uh, there was a vision of like a plane of fire and he seemed mm. totally fucking <laughs> chill about it and just I have to on, say... my, on the roof clacking my bollocks together in front of the box. <laughs> <laughs> no that's in the bathhouse <laughs> um, I have to say I've never been sent a vision of the a different elemental plane but it, it, okay when I say a fiery plane I don't mean a different plane of existence there was fire everywhere and there was a I, I assume the fucking Whatever the fuck his name is that I didn't care enough to care it's enough youth. to learn. That one. Yes. I am. I I'm sure Davian will talk about it whenever he's ready. But you know, Grandad Blue isn't that weird so far. No, no. I might be well, weird if we've actually met him, but. Yeah, I mean, Jax doesn't even think he's real. So. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> I think either thinking... of them were real, to be entirely honest. Really. Mm. I, I think if I told Jax that Blue's my granddad, he'd probably be less believing than he already is. So maybe don't bring this up. This is very weird, and I'm trying to. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, that's pretty fucking weird. Mm. But anyway, thanks for telling me a secret. Let's go get breakfast. You're welcome. <laughs> In return, you need to tell me a secret. Do I fuck? Yes, you do. That's, That's how this works. It says who? It says me and hundreds of years of my people's culture. <laughs> I'm not of your people, though. No, but I am, so it still counts. What are you going to do? Fucking cut me off at this rate, I'm going to be the only person left. Hmm. Not what the fuck people. do you want to know? Clearly there's something on your mind. What the fuck do you want to know? I want to ask about the letters. Okay, you can oh. ask about the letters. I'm not promising to tell you everything, but... Okay. What did she do to make you so mad at her? We were... 
close. Mm -hmm. And like a certain other someone, she betrayed my trust. And... <laughs> I did not betray your trust that bad. No, not that bad. I didn't curse you out yet, but... No. But, uh... We don't talk anymore. I got it. And that's... Part of why I left Sigali. I wanted a fresh start. Do you know if she took the gold and ran? I, don't, I, I assume she knew it was there, but I have no idea. I never actually sent the letter. Oh, that's true. I, that is something. Mind. Might consider writing or sending if we ever at any point have reason to go to Sigalia, but. I and just make sure she wasn't there. That would be the hope. Yeah. Basically, a, a bribe to fuck off. Sounds reasonable to me. That's as much as you get on a scoby at breakfast. Okay. <clears throat> Elazrin, you look chipper this morning. <laughs> yeah. No, he <laughs> I mean, that's when it's like straight up vibing, cup of tea in hand, like... And when they get downstairs, because I like poured everyone tea as they get there, and I pour mm -hmm. one for Brooks, and then I pour a mug of tea for Kess, but then I put so much milk in it that it looks like it's that really atrocious, like, British people look at it and cry, like, the barely tea-flavored milk, yeah, and hand her that. Um... Do you know what? I think that's worse than just not giving her a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Such a waste of tea. Uh, pip pip. Hmm. Literally. Thank you for How the tea, Dagon. How am I going to deal with this? <laughs> I'm gonna use I'm gonna use mage hand to like pick it up and then toss it out the window and then put it back down on the table, so that there is the tea is gone. Well, okay, is okay, there? right, right. I will. No, 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 no. I'm not dealing with this for a full fucking two days, day and a half cart ride <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> that was the most. You are both grown people and that was the most <laughs> petty childish exchange that i've witnessed since we've been traveling together and i'm i have my moments so <laughs> we, we need some sort of truce here or something <laughs> not oh i'm gonna make a shit tea i'm gonna throw away a shit tea at the breakfast table the day we're supposed to leave you That's ever consider funny. being a teacher davian Absolutely. You have that, you have that vibe. Of, <laughs> I can deal with children. Fucking hell. Uh, <laughs> what's your uh, submission yeah. then? Hmm? That you two act like adults with people. Don't like, do stuff. that. Just and don't do like... that. <laughs> what? Yes, being adult is lame. Throw out to you. Okay. Yes, it's a waste of fucking tea. And they're ruining good tea. Be... Not just ruined. you, Kess, but Dagon as well. Why? Like what? what? <sighs> Maybe that's how Kess likes her tea. It's I not. don't think if anybody likes well, their tea like that, they're not drinking the tea. Window, I have a feeling that it's not quite how anybody when, enjoys their tea. When when Brooke says that, I get up my journal and I get on the entry uh, with Kess in it. I point a few paragraphs up, and there's a specific reference to the fact that I know Kess likes her tea black with a little bit of honey. Oh, <laughs> oh so it was just petty then. Yeah, I nod. I expected better from you. I thought being petty was my job. Absolutely nothing at all. If you just just didn't acknowledge one another, would be easier and better to at least get through the next day and a half than than more of this. I'll I'll just write on paper. Fine. Deal Fine. with it in El Deal with it in Eldalon. That sounds perfectly be, reasonable. Perfect. Yes. Unless something comes up before then. There we go. What? We're Fine gonna be in a car. We're going to be camping. D just, just, just try not to worry about each oh. other, please. Davian, have you become the dad of this journey? Are you going to threaten to turn the car around? <clears throat> I will be the one driving it. <laughs> you dear. Well then, shall we have a quick breakfast and hit the we road? We, we left the car at the keep, correct? Yeah. I believe so, yes. Yes. I, I can't believe what I just it. watched. I just, I'm still in disbelief. <laughs> I, I, will... 
I'll look at that again and I'll hold up my tea and I'll sign thank you. I will do an accidentally flip her off. The sign, yeah, the sign, the sign for your welcome. Not that I taught Brooks that one. I have no idea what it means, but I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they look like the same but, fucking yeah. person. It's scary. <laughs> that, that's how genetics tends to work. Yeah, I've heard. I mean, yeah, but I so, thought I always thought Koi was adopted. Others, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Koi was adopted. This one's very obvious. Yeah. <laughs> Some gene pools are smaller than others. Yeah. For anyone listening to the podcast, <laughs> Koibo's sister I mean, that's what happens in, in Portsmouth. <laughs> oh, <Right>. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thanks, Laura. <laughs> no fucking need. <laughs> right, funny. so I'm going to go get the car. Kess and Elijah, and you want to come along, we'll pull it around okay. front. Yeah, yeah sounds man. good. Um. Yeah, all right, fair enough. And I'll just I'll get up, and with Onu waddling behind me, head out the door. And uh, Ooh, make, make toward the key. Go. Mm. Do you have any of that fucking leftover coffee shit? Wait, I I think I no, you, you got, got kicked out. Yeah, no. I'll go back to the table and I'll pull out the coffee making kit. Yeah, just take good care of it and don't get thrown out again. <laughs> I don't need the whole kit. I just need the coffee. But well, no, yeah, okay. Oh, no, j- what? Just the the beans, the grounds. Just the. A little bit of whatever you've got left. Oh, I've got. Well, 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 okay, well, be more specific. Whoa, 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 whoa. I will pull out and put on the table my brewer's kit. I will give him. Wait. Coffee. I think I have th- like 13. Oh. I guess what would now be. Uh, let me see. 11 cups worth, so I'll just give you like two cups worth of okay. uh, ground beans. And yeah. And head towards the keep to get the horse. Alrighty. Uh, anything you guys want to discuss along the way or just going to get the horse and horses and carts and just skirt? <clears throat> <laughs> I mean, oh, really, I'm how are Daddy Davy and Telera? Hang on, Kest, how, how bad was that conversation you had? Because, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, sh- shit like that, it was, I would expect that from you, not from Daigon. So I feel like... Is, is that insulting? That feels insulting. No, no it's just it's telling. Uh, making it's assumptions it's about your character based on filling priestesses' houses with chickens compared to Daigon's more <laughs> stoic nature. I haven't even told you about the time I burnt down a shed. Anyway. No, um, another time. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, it went pretty badly. Yeah. I mean, she said a lot of things, well, signed a lot of things that were just <laughs> mean and uncalled for. Mean and uncalled up, for, but she up seems more points. upset than you do. Well, I then said some stuff back. That was also mean and uncalled for. Mm, less uncalled for because it was a reaction to what she had said, which was uncalled for. You are children. <laughs> I... Hmm. Yeah. Yes, they are. <laughs> but they can learn from this, and if they don't, it will just be a fucking pain in the ass. <laughs> Why are you talking about me like I'm not even here? I'm... Oh, because it's like the best way I've found to deal with you. <laughs> I mean, but just like I'm not even it just, present. I mean, yeah, I, it helps a lot. It means I can. You don't ask questions then. <laughs> <laughs> but um, she just did ask. She just, just asked did. why we're talking like she's not here. Mm-hmm. I've been doing that. <laughs> you know, Listen, I'm uh, not gonna fight it. <laughs> it's it's tough for us to weigh in on the situation. You and Diagon have known each other longer than anyone else in the party has known one another. Mm. So clearly, there's something more complicated here than I could tell at a glance. But. At least try and deal with it like adults. Uh, I mean, how how would that work? Uh, you make amends it. somehow. Yeah. You really come to an understanding. You yeah. for now, your you... empathy is loosely. It's about 
trying to put yourself in the other person's shoes, understand I'm, their feelings. I, I don't really want to do that. I mean, but oh, that's why you not right. But that's the point. <laughs> why do you not want to do that? Because you would feel bad. No, because um, I'm fine with it as it is. I mean, okay, at the very minimum, can you not be, like, hostile towards <laughs> Daigon? So, like, she gives you the shit cup of tea. I didn't even do anything today. She gives you no. the shit cup of tea, right? You don't just, like, chuck it away. You just kind of ignore it and you go, oh, okay, no, no, no. Go one side. But then she wins. They're both, about winning. <laughs> they're both at fault here, right? It's not about winning. It's about not it's being not a fucking child. That's the problem. It's not a competition of who can out petty the other one or who can, you know, not be the, you know, who can be the biggest dick to the other one. It's about getting along for the sake of the rest of us. Mm, I think you can deal with it fine. Oh, I can deal with it fine, but I don't want to be dealing with it because it's, you're involving people who shouldn't be involved in <laughs> your problems. Mm, I, I mean, what makes you think she didn't say things about you? I mean, fantastic if she did. Oh, this is rude. I don't see how we would come. I wouldn't. I do wouldn't expect. Other than the fact, you know, you told us first about the vessel, or at least me. I mean, I wouldn't expect any less. I'd expect everyone to be talking <clears> about each <throat> other constantly and their disagreements and all that. I don't pretend to get along with everyone perfectly. I feel like I get along with everyone, all right. I mean. You can get along with, I mean, overall, like everyone, not just this group. Well, yeah, just point still stands. Yes. You know, it happens. I'm well aware I've done things that have annoyed people. And this is also vice versa in this group. Quite often, actually. Quite often. Mm -hmm. What? Nothing. Don't worry about mm -hmm. it. Hmm. <clears throat> just. Just Look. don't be at each other's throats or like constantly having these little to and fro's. Just either ignore it or stay mm -hmm. away from each other as much as you can. I mean, we are about to be in a cart. It's, yes, but you one like can sit at the, one can sit at the front, one can sit in the back, and you'd be the furthest away from each other, and have people in between. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to expect you to sit next to each other or opposite each other, where you can dish out stuff. Just stay away. Yeah, that makes sense. Finally, some reason. I mean, I have magic that can do things to her from afar. No, that... <laughs> and I have magic that can stop you from <laughs> doing it. Both of your faces was just the epitome of two steps forward, three steps back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna... that moment. Don't worry, guys. Yes. I'm gonna prank uh, Daigon. Eldritch blast into the fucking forehead. <laughs> okay, so how about That's you sit in front of the cart facing forward? Mm -hmm. That way you have no motivation. You don't even have to acknowledge that Diagon is there. <clears throat> and then Diagon sits at the back. Where I have no doubt Elijah or Brooks keep her occupied so you don't have this is the worst i just want you to know this is the worst <laughs> this is i <sighs> this is the best <laughs> dutch is just having the best time he's like i hold on to the it's dm great. i'll just let them fight it's do you know what's fucking great do you know what's great about this it wasn't me who, who stayed it up who had the argument it wasn't me just <laughs> <laughs> That's character progression, baby. Nice. Of my real self. <laughs> it feels like this is something that's gonna just blow over either. So I don't know what you guys are gonna have to get into when we get to our. It might take a month or two to get past this. I have. Oh to fucking Christ! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right. IRL. It will take a month because we're about to go on break. Big True. Sad. <laughs> yeah, we'll be on. Just. We have a lake to delve into, and oh, I don't want either of you drown in the other. Mm, well, you can it, It'll be no. a prime opportunity for her to calm down. No, cool down. Mm, really cold water. We'll be fine. It's I mean, it's probably going to be quite really hot dangerous water. environment. And then she can get through. more irate until she explodes, and then the problem solves itself. 
That doesn't happen. <laughs> well, that's mean. I guess that's a, that, that was a bit, a bit too far. I don't think you wished death upon. I, go a bit... I, don't... I, I don't, but. Or oh, then don't say it. The juxtaposition of yourself to Dargan is quite surprising. I don't know how you got along so well for so long, they, all things considered. Attracted in there, so. I mean, I think we're quite similar in some ways. Not in others, but in a few. You're both petty. Mm. You both commit a fuck ton of crap. <laughs> no. But no, she doesn't because she's uh, got a literally thing about lawful. That. Fuck off. I, I do, and then I kind of convince her to I, help I, me I, sometimes. But it took a while to get her to do it with me. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> just, just lay off. I don't yeah, know. Basically, just. Whatever it is that you're currently doing in that train of thought you're having. Oh my god. I just, no. I don't want to have to sit there and slap your hand every time you try and fucking piss her off or what. Just, I just can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do this. I just. We're not I don't, care. I don't deal with <laughs> this. I live in the woods. Amazing, dude. I do <laughs> deal with this. I fucking hate it. Yeah, but you run into all sorts of drama at the. Convent or wherever you live. You'd be surprised. <laughs> All the other clerics running around putting, I don't know, itching powder in each other's robes or whatever. What? I don't know. What do you get up to? I don't. I don't know. You said you deal with this shit all the time. Oh, yeah, it's because you deal with people having fight up gods for fuck's sake. And I'm like, what? You know, my god. That seems a little god. bit more grandiose than. No, it's more like my god's better than your god. You know, it's a bit more like. <laughs> I can't wait to get into that one with Kess. Oh god. Well, I mean. <clears throat> I mean, I'm off this in the fight. Itching powder is a thing that it, I know exists, but. Hmm. There was no ant hill. Hmm. Oh wait, you got someone to walk into an ant hill and then they got like eaten by ants? Oh, that's pretty good. No, I was talking about something I was itching like fuck the other day. Oh, oh yes. Oh, I, just yes. I forgot about that. I just assumed it was, you know, bugs. I but, mean, uh... it was, wasn't it? Okay. <laughs> well, uh, we'll put a pin on that. I think your opinion was, but. Mm -hmm. no, I don't yeah, know what you're talking about. You have to check my sleeping <laughs> stuff now because snakes have used it. Speaking of who's God's better. Mm. Oh, don't. I'm done. Yes. Yeah. You slept in the vessel last night? Yes, I did. You're on better terms with the uh, blue in the big blue house? Yeah. Is it? <laughs> and it's, it's not blue inside at all. What color is it inside? Well, I kind of have blue. it a, a, a lot of different blue little colors. window no. and a blue horse and cart. Mm -mm. And mm. everything she sees is blue. <laughs> <laughs> Inside and outside. No. Stop. <laughs> it's not like it's well. It's it's all in like jewel colors, and then it has um, a bed that hangs from the ceiling in the middle of it. Jewel yeah. colors include sapphire, by any chance? You know. Um, not really. <laughs> it's more like red and kind of green. Red and green. There's some like purple in there as well. That's terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much like all of the dual colors, except blue. Except except one all of the all of the colors except blue. Yeah, because right. fuck you, I've decided now that it no longer has blue in it. Right, Why? So it did have blue except, in it. I'm sure he'll be free. Except so it except did have blue in it previously, until this point where we've now mentioned that it would have blue in it. Mm -hmm. So, so no, technically, no longer does. Red, but mm -hmm. we were correct in assuming that there was blue until. Five Tonight. minutes ago, yes. Exactly. <laughs> oh. Right after you said it. <laughs> you were correct for about 0.5 seconds. Exactly. And then... That's all I'll take. I'll take a technical. It's Just, nicely warm. Right. So you're... Maybe we have you're, a Holton cart to pick up. You're on good terms then. That's all right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're on great terms now. Fantastic news. Just like family. Right. I mean, fair to fight with my family i hmm. it's it's mm, it's new i haven't really spoken to my parents in a long while i actually got a little shook up on the way here when they told me briarstown had burned down but it was a weird experience 
It's a different Briar's Town, turns out. Yeah. It's an odd coincidence. Yeah, isn't it just? Fair. Or is it? <laughs> yes. It is. <laughs> is it? Yep. Is Sorry, it, the voice in my head. Sorry. It's um, it's <laughs> or is it? <laughs> Let's <laughs> uh, pull some car back to the key. Right, so yeah, you hello, get to the car. It's in hello, the... stable boy. Stable hand. Stable woman. Hello. Stable. <laughs> uh, we come to collect our two horses and cart, and possibly some feed as well. Right, right, right. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, of, oh, do you need me to fetch it? It's around the corner, uh, right there, and you kind of. Well, points. if you can fetch any feed, I'll give you a couple of silver for it. Um, Captain is already insured to put some supplies for you in the back of the cart for when you came to pick it up. Ah, oh, that was so well, nice. Much appreciated. All right, and I'll uh, go around, hop up onto the uh, onto the the cart, and uh, get it going. I'm ready? You know, room room. Look down. All right, uh, so you managed to get oh, back no. to the inn, uh, pick up the rest. Do you all just hop in the cart and uh, you're on your merry way? What the fuck yep. is that? Hmm? <laughs> I guess uh, fucking... I need to get some coconuts, dude. Fucking... Mm. Um, right, yeah, I mean, you start traveling. Unless there's anything else that you guys want to do or discuss, you, you start. You, you hit the road, Jack. Um, the road is there any fruit juice with breakfast? You're you in the cart. Yeah, there is. Okay. There is. There yeah, some fruit juice. Is there what sort of fruit juice? Like just orange, apple. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna take like a, a bit of each and try and make them into some uh, alcohol. Okay. You need some yeast. I uh, also. I mean, I assume yeast is in it. I assume I have like a like a sourdough starter style of fucking yeast in my brewer's kit. It's just gonna take time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How much time? Me and Dutch will figure out at some point, I guess. Exactly. Um, yeah, sure. Um, as you travel, you know, after a few, uh, you know, the first half a day or so, eventually it gets past. Um, uh, actually, no. Like the pretty much the entire first day is almost over by the time you get to that like guard post that you. Um, because Jax did this map case yeah. thing. Uh, yeah. 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 And you get stopped. This time there's a, a woman clad in uh, blue sentinel get up. Oh. Do we need to hide a Lazarin? I Is mean, at that, if I was just starting to head towards the checkpoint, mm -hmm. I would have ducked down. Okay. I, I would have, yeah. at least not like, not like hugely making it super fucking obvious that I'm trying to like mm -hmm. hide, but at least be like, Maybe we could, like, pretend I'm sleeping or some shit and, like, kind of under. Right, and this woman, um, long sword sheath uh, down her, you know, down by her uh, waist, shield on her back, just has a torch out and kind of, like, Oi! And, uh, what? answer some questions for me before you get hit the road again? We Wendy. have to. Well, just, just wondering... Where you're off to at this time of night, this time of evening, you know, there's, there's no room. Real... All right, so what's your business in Eldilon? What, are you an Eldilon guard? <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing a few miles oh, outside of the blue of Sentinels, street? we are responsible for the safety of the entire province. I heard this guard station was installed to deal with the fires, started by a cult that we've since dealt with, so... You're welcome. Thank you. Right, we'll be so, on our way then. What is your business in Eldilon? What's the yeah. what's the harm in answering the question if you've got nothing to hide and if you're heroes, right? Uh, well, you have to it's report late, back. And I've had to deal with these two arguing. We haven't even. I said would anything. like to point out we've been silent. The well to each other the entire car yes, ride. Thank you. A very very, very comfortable cozy silence we've all been sat in here. I'm sure. Oh, we are dearest. on our way back to Eldalon to report back to General Kron for about the whole cult that we just deal with the fucking cult thing, which is the reason why you're here. All right. Thank you for That's answering. Us. Appreciate it. Was that was that really that difficult? we yes. I'm sorry for them. We've had a really fucking rough couple of days. Sound like you all need to get laid. I I've been stabbed. These two have been arguing like children. 
Uh, hey. This guy had his has a fucking dog get exploded. It's been uh, yeah, <laughs> it's been real rough. All right. Last thing, and she whips out documents. How many of you are in the cart? Is the last one hiding? Oh, that's yeah. yeah. <laughs> kind of. Um, one, two, three. Five and a dog. Yeah. Well, it, it bird oh, no. now. Bird now. Bird. Bird. Five. And does eight. does the bird count? He's about five foot tall. Uh, nah. Okay, just five. people. Wow. Yeah, that one. Just only? five. All right. Four. Thank you, you don't very have much. Wagon. And who would? <laughs> Thank you very much. I, I, oh, I guess in the fucking front. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Fucking leg. Anyway, then. Thank you for oh. answering the questions and without attitude. That was great. Appreciate it. It's new for me as well, so. It's a nice establishment in Eldalon where you could get, you know, deal with the whole tension problem. You can get laid. Your mum's house, and I just fucking spur the horses. Come on, mate! Go to the police! <laughs> you walk, you walk around as fast as. She just like turn to look at the cart as it, as it rides away, and just like hold a torch up, and you can see it's like in her face, like in the torch slide. She's just like. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Very confused as to what she did wrong or did to wrong any of you. I'm not fucking leave me in car, but she's like, you're fucking mom. I love that she's probably putting the notes now. Six, I'm sorry, five people five in car reporting to General Cron. Brackets and my mom. My house. mother. <laughs> <laughs> um. Right. Uh, for Twelve hours of, earlier, Davian. Uh... Stop being so childish. Now, your mum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, Davian. Hot kettle for black. the sake of brevity, <sighs> uh, brevity, you find a place to uh, you know set up camp for the night and, and sleep. Is there anything anyone really particularly wants to do before moving on? These nuts. No. Just set up my bedroll on the opposite. Like we're all sleeping around a fire, just again maximum distance from Kess while being in the party. Okay. But I'm not saying or doing anything. Mm. Mm. Definitely not saying anything. Nah. Well, yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> right. Just um, occasionally like, they glare like at any, each other. You guys want to like just particularly like do? No. For uh. Mm. I'm kind of hoping we get to Eldalon before we have to end today. So. Yeah. <laughs> I think. As everyone is is bedding down, mm -hmm. just just to be a little like mm, uh, not not mischievous, but like you know what would happen. So I take out my necklace with the two tears, and I'm just gonna try and like conjure some shit for everyone to see. Conjure what? Well, oh, she's gonna make a vision same happen. sort of image that Brooks saw. Oh, gross. No, scary. <laughs> gross. <laughs> Ew, <it's a> fire <laughs> um, I hate your magic. They're fused disgusting. together now, aren't they? Mm -hmm. They are. Mm. Ooh. What do you do, exactly? I'm just gonna sit by the fire, and I'm gonna take it out, and, like, hold it in my hands, focus on it, Maybe, like, I don't know, after some words of, like, uh, Kossuth, you know, just, how's it going, you know? Maybe, like, hang it in the fire, like, dangle it into the fire and, like, see how the flames sort of react to it and stuff like that. Okay. <clears throat> you... The fire, like, the fire of the, the, of the, the, the campfire that you made grows. And instead of getting like a, an experience like you had with, with, with Brooks on that rooftop, you almost like create this like still image of what Kosuth last looked like to you. Uh, let me quickly, I'm quickly gonna break cameras real quick so I can f frickin'. Oh, there we sorry. go. Ooh, um, fuck. That's the image you create. Oh. oh. That's cool. Jesus Christ. Oh no no no. Oh no no no. No 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 no. Why oh, he's got like armor on and shit? 
Does he say anything, or does he just kind of? No, it's just an image. It's just an image, like a still oh. of him. Have you, Darwin, have you told these lot? Because a bit. Well, I, I don't be scared or anything, but you know that's uh, the man that we're on a mission. For. Um, I'm oh, gonna use. Oh. I'm gonna use. Uh, what is it? Wait, thaumaturgy. What's it called? Minor no, I'm gonna illusion. use minor illusion to create like a little version of blue. Mm -hmm. ah, ah. I think that's what blue looks like. So you see this like uh, blue uh, gin with like the squiggly tail, wearing uh, pretty oh, like uh, fine, uh, it's like silk clothing, with this like like longer black hair, but kind of like slick. Uh, Barely any facial hair, and just a lot of, like, swirls of white, like, kind of intertwined in his body, similar to, uh, to Sai or, 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 or Kes. Um, yeah. Cool. Does the image of Blue... Now, obviously, I don't know anything about the details, but is there any immediate similarity? Resemblance? resemblance? Um... That's a good question. <laughs> hmm. Um, Not necessarily. Um, they both look um, powerful. Blue. Like their 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 just their vision uh, kind of like it emanates strength, power. Um, but other than that, it's like purely superficial. They they look nothing alike. Like there's no like real similarities in that from that in that aspect. Between Kess and Blue. Um. Because of the whole. Yeah, well. You've seen Kess, her, like. Yeah. White, like, lines and stuff that she kind of has around uh, her body, right? Um, that's, that's really it. She has. Yeah. Like, the thing as well is, you know. Uh, compared to Blue, Kess is very young. <laughs> very young. Blue, right. uh, Blue is very old and uh, doesn't look it. Doesn't look it at all, but... Um, I mean, besides, you know, skin tone and uh, the same, like, white markings, uh, it's not, not really. Fair enough. I just... <clears throat> I'm seeing, like, how Kossuth is, like, clad in armor and fucking a hell and blue is in like silks and stuff. Yes, it's now just like making him like dance around in her in the palm of her hands, just like with a little drive. And the, I guess the image of Kosuth just stands there <laughs> menacingly. Um. Well, this that's the, yes, that's Kosuth, I guess. I, yeah. Does it? I... Sorry, DM. So question. Does it like? Do we feel like a sort of power from it? Like, does it feel like a lot of, like magical energy, or is it is it just an image? Like, does it feel like? I mean, it's being there is definitely uh, connected to some kind of like elemental magic, yeah. Okay, yeah. So it can kind of almost like feel the heat type sort of thing, like yeah. Obviously, okay, cool. I mean, the fire just yeah. grew from a campfire to like a, yeah. I guess, six foot tall mm -hmm. fucking avatar, like. It's a little warm, I guess. Um, Davian? Mm hmm As you kind of create this image, you... The necklace... Um, mm. Shines. Uh, and like, starts to glow. Um, and you feel this, like, warmth course through your entire body. Um... How do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? Um... Wait, you're killing him? Yeah. <laughs> Damien only... just immolates on the spot. Oh, hell yeah. No bit of immolation. And you all look at Davian. Oh, fuck. And you can see when he's like kind of channeling his uh, necklace. What color are your eyes normally, Davian? Green. His green eyes are now this, like, vibrant orange. Oh, good. Your eyes are on fire. What? Mmm, your eyes are on fire. It doesn't you? feel like it. Mmm, it looks well, like it. it doesn't have to sit next to 
Does anyone have like a mirror or something? Uh, I'm gonna. I pull out a really fucking shiny silver <laughs> coin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just just look at one of Jax's like pauldrons or something. One of Jax's um... armor pieces. I'm also just going to create a little minor illusion of his head with the glowing eyes. So that's just like a floating head. Belvian head with glowing eyes. <laughs> it's not weird at all. Also... Mm. There you go. That's what it looks are like. Are they like actually like luminous? Like they are, there's light? No, no, no. They just change no. color and, and like it's like a, they're like a very bright orange color. Interesting. So, okay. If I stop channeling this illusion, does you know, thing disappears. Campfire goes back to normal. Do they stay the same? They are still orange, yeah. Okay. They still look orange to me. That's uh, disconcerting. Did you tell these lot about the other night? Well, uh, yeah, I think. Well, I told <clears throat> Lazarus, no, I think. I mentioned it yesterday morning. I mean, you I... told all of us about the lake and the stuff. And... I, I didn't really want to mention it because I was there, but it's not really my thing to tell. Well, yeah, I mean, it, I suppose it's 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 my, my story to tell, I suppose. But yeah, I figured I would kind of, well, I, I thought maybe the same thing would happen. Kind of interesting. I, not what I expected. No, I didn't expect. He was surprisingly... Chilled for a man made of fire. But yeah, at the same time, right. it's a man made of fire. It's pretty fucking. Well, when you're from, you know, the land of fire, it probably helps. Mm. Yeah, but it's, it's, it was unnerving to say the least. Can I see any better in the dark now? Um. No. Does, has anything about my vision changed? No? Okay. But... Oh. You do feel... Um, something's changing inside you. You, you are going through another puberty. Feel... <laughs> He's parking in! Uh, you feel... Just this, like, innate... Understanding of Kosuth and the Elemental Plane of Fire in particular. Um, <coughs> you're beginning to feel um, that even though the necklace isn't complete yet, just fucking with it and, and, and learning about everything that you've learned so far, almost as if it's like unlocking some kind of innate ability you didn't know you had. Um, you're not quite sure what it is yet. If I, like, hold the necklace and go, go web, does anything <laughs> Make a... <laughs> Fly! <laughs> uh, make a charisma check. Go, go, Gadget, Arsonist Cookbook. Charisma check? Oh my god, this is the first roll I've made this- Don't fail me go now, on. boat. I believe, I believe, I believe. Mmm, charisma check. I do not. 21. 21. Hey! Hey! Yep. Another 19. From the boat, die in the boat. Damn. It's a boat. That changes things. I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> um, you see, as from the necklace, this bright orange beam just uh, shoots oh. out and clashes into Wait. a tree. Jesus fucking Christ. Please don't start a forest fire. Did you mean to do that? Or No, well, maybe. That's about mm. a half What's a foot on? off my fucking head. Your okay. head is still intact. Is, are his eyes still, like, going? Did, when it, obviously, probably having a split second, but does it look like anything else changed in that, like, beam shot out, or is it just like... Oh. It just suddenly happens. Like, does it look like, like something well, else? Did, like, he you, saw, more you like definitely saw Davian kind of like, just fucking with the necklace. And, oh, it was just you know, like... It was like... Yeah. And he does that, and this orange beam just... 
rams shoots out rams yeah. into a tree tree we're gonna start a fall does that oh. look like a tree it? fell down tree fell does down it, yes does it look like um oh. do you have my magic it reminds you a lot of like a different color but it's not, elders like an elders blast yeah hey 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 you're doing the thing i didn't do what i'm what? gonna eldritch blast a different tree Oh, oh my god! Oh, take another one and down. just another tree just like, like See, cracks what, and... What if in the forest can thing? hear that? <laughs> well, Squirrels. if surrounded by morons. From... Well... Oh, uh, one tree already went down. What's two trees gonna do? It's fine. Twice as much I... damage and twice as much noise. That's how math works. I didn't take math. No, um... I can tell. <laughs> it wasn't useful. Didn't, uh, didn't really Very mean useful. to do that. Well, I meant to do something, but not that. I yeah. don't know what I expected. Darian, in the nicest way possible, will you uh, sleep facing away from the group tonight? Just oh, he'll you be know. fine. He just I mean, I'm not like, oh, by the way, um, oh, after oh, you like, like kind of like unloaded that 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 energy, that your eyes turn normal. Um, oh, I've got a refactory period now. <laughs> Your eyes turn to normal, bending. pretty much. Like, so like, that energy uh, that you kind of you. felt coursing through your body, you definitely let that all out by, by what you just did, and that causes your eyes to go back from orange to the normal green. Do, they otherwise they got a stomachache. Bye-bye, glowy eyes. Bye-bye, <laughs> glowy eyes. I, I'm so sad that you're not playing a bad anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, right. Well, t today in um, learning things about the tears of Kosuth, I suppose um, can that's the thing. Can we go to bed now? I'm do. scared. <laughs> so glad Mom, I don't have to fuck with any of this shit. Mom, they're doing magic at the party. Mom, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. I don't want to be here anymore. I will, uh,. <clears throat> lay down on my bedroll, mm -hmm. facing away from everyone else. Appreciate you. And uh, just whisper a small thank you into my into my uh, necklace before I get some <laughs> shut eye. Right, uh, we'll assume that the like the whole uh, watch thing is the same as always mm -hmm. uh, yep. for the sake of brevity. Um, yep, yep. And then I think when you wake up. It's about half a day more until you get to Eldalon. I think mm -hmm. uh, we're going to end it here for the night. Wait, wait, as we go through, like literally as soon as we go through, if there is there a gate to Eldalon or like a bridge into the city well, or something? We, but, but you're not in Eldalon yet. We're half a day away. We're camping out halfway. Day away oh, I thought you said you, no. it's only half a day you get there and no. then we no. head. Damn. Oh. You'll have so to remember for after Christmas. Yeah. God, yeah. I have to remember oh, for three that's weeks. Right, oh, that's my. Right down somewhere. oh my! I did, but I, I, I'm worried it also won't have the same impact for other people if we wait. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh. Um, yeah, and that was it for uh, today. And this is uh, the last that's session of the year. 2021. Uh, we'll we'll see be back you here me. for regular Dungeon Select January 16th. But. Um, there will be a plethora of content on the channel over our winter break. Uh, I know. Uh, Koiba's running a one shot. Uh, running a one yeah, shot. our first stream back after into the new year will be on the second. Yeah, it will literally yeah. be so you have a stream straight away. January second, second. The January second of January. Uh, Koiba's Either running one shot. Uh, so regular DS time, or it might be an hour later, depending on you want to announce what time is free. Ah, yeah. So I will be running a. Semi battle royale with a with a little twist. I've not oh, fully no. told. I've not told the uh, the players anything yet, but they know they have to prepare for combat. It's a combat heavy yep. focus. I'm playing in that um, guy's fog. Yeah, so you get to play a game. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Uh, that's crazy. Uh, and then uh, I, don't, I forget when, when is yours again? Yours again? Laura? My one shot's January tenth. Oh, no, it's a Monday. It's on a Monday. It's a Monday. Right. At DS time. Yes. Though, two to six. Um, but we'll still have um. Dungeon Discourse this Thursday, which I'm going to ask Beanie and Laura, since you haven't done the Jeopardy yet. Woo! So if y'all are both woo. down and available this Thursday. I think so. Let me quickly double check. Uh, mm. I mean, yeah. I will be, but... I'm good. Yeah, beautiful. So we'll have... Uh... I mean, if we need to start a little later because of work or whatever, Beanie, just let me know and we'll uh... do the same with Vincent. Uh, so it's all good. 
I will let you know by tomorrow. Okay. So Thursday, Dungeon Discourse with uh, Beanie and Laura. Um, we'll let you guys know. Join the Discord. Explain my Discord. Follow us on Twitter for accurate like, updates on whether we're doing uh, Divinity th th that week or not. That's something that we'll probably discuss in the Discord and all that stuff. Um, uh, I know there's a bunch of YouTube stuff going on over the break, which uh, Bell is in charge of. So the yep. Discord is definitely the place to keep in touch with what we're up to, what our content planning is for the next few weeks because of the holiday break. But um, yeah, thanks so much for hanging out. Uh, thanks YouTube for the follows. Thanks, thanks for the raid as well. Hope we're tabletop RPGs. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Go check them out. They're awesome. They do a lot of cool mm -hmm. shit. Um, yeah, happy yeah. holidays. Happy New Year. We'll be here tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, have a wonderful uh, Christmas, everybody. We'll be here tomorrow for Divinity, I think, right? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's lost yeah. them. Anyone's going to fucking see me until the New Year, yeah. so I mean. <laughs> so uh, you'll see me, uh, Duke, and Ethan for our Divinity series that we play on this channel. And we're actually uh, making tomorrow. ground now. Getting into some good shit. Yeah. 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 It's getting, we're it's actually at the point where, like, we have spells now and do yeah, things. Yeah, it's a good time. I'm out of the and then Royal uh, Island. Thursday, like I said, discourse, and then. Um, that's when the the whole day schedule will kick in and things are going to be a little rocky, a little little random and sporadic, but keep in touch with us in the Discord and all that stuff. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome. Uh, I those... shot a fireball. He did. Uh, if any of you, you know, uh, we, if we yeah. won't see you until the holidays, hope you guys have a great holiday season, whether it's Christmas you celebrate or something else. Um, you know, Happy New Year, all that shit. Um, see you next time. Stay safe. Be responsible around the holidays. Like, I get it, blah, 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 but COVID is still a thing. So, you know, don't visit, uh, you know, don't Stay have safe. massive parties. Stay safe, be responsible, be smart. Take care. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Don't go shoot Bye. anything. Merry Christmas. Yeah, don't shoot down trees. Happy Chrysler.